Ah, hello everybody. Damn, I look like I'm on the surface of the sun right now. Um, yeah, maybe because there's like daylight out and stuff. We're in we're in daylight savings time now. Um, <laughs> maybe I should draw the blinds. Hold on a sec. Uh, yeah, it's not looking right. <laughs> uh, ah, the sun. It's in my eyes. That's not much better. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's yeah, it's almost seventy degrees. It actually, was like seventy degrees today. We got some like uh, we got some warm weather over the weekend. It was uh, it was pretty nice. Went for a walk. Went for went for a couple walks. Got out, got some sun. It was it was great because it's gonna start uh, it's gonna start raining again uh, on Wednesday, <laughs> as usual. Anyway, uh, I got some I got some people to thank. Uh, before we start, Lagaloy, thank you for the 64 months. Uh, Tepid Snake, I thank you for the for the 70 months. Yeah, now we're earlier for like the next couple weeks. If you're, uh, if your country isn't uh, observing daylight savings time yet, I think Europe does that. Yeah, like in two weeks, something like that. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Mary, you're alive. Hey, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. Yeah, it is, uh... It is Monday. It is Push to Reject Day. The day where we look at a, uh... Bunch of weird, obscure, less popular arcade games from, uh, from yesteryear. Still on 1983, we're gonna be here for... For a while yet. Uh, there's still, a uh, uh, still a good number of stuff. Um... Looking like tonight... Uh, we'll, we'll mostly be focusing on a on a couple developers. Like last week, it was it was uh, it was just pretty much all Sega because they uh, they made a lot of stuff. And tonight, uh, Data East was putting out a lot of stuff too. So we're gonna we'll focus on them first. And Eris Tortle, hey, thank you for the for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for the sub. Oh yeah, I, I noticed recently that uh, that April first. Uh, April Fool's Day falls on a on a Monday this year. Hmm. Hmm. Gave me an idea. It's not gonna not gonna disrupt anything, but it gave me an idea. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready to share that just yet, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> also, yeah. Shoutouts to uh, uh, shoutouts to OBS. Uh, finally releasing a new version uh, that fixed the the whole slideshow thing. I could just keep the uh, I could just keep the slideshow up now instead of the the sheep room, right? Because because yeah, that was uh, that was the problem I was uh, uh, I've been having uh, with with having like all the art in the pre stream is that like um, the more pictures you add in, like the more the more RAM it takes up in OBS because like it's trying to it's trying to pre-cache like every every single image which is really annoying uh, but now it's 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 a lot more optimized it doesn't do any of that shit so I could actually have the uh, the in, the entire directory of uh, of everything that are that our talented artists have done for for push to reject which uh, man there's a lot of stuff here <laughs> like uh, I, I always say this, but I have uh, I don't have much artistic ability of my own. I, if you've watched Arcade Pit, an episode of Arcade Pit I've been on, you know I uh, have no no ability to draw. So I have a, I have a lot of respect for those that uh, that can crank this stuff out in uh, in record time too, like really quickly. <laughs> Did they fix the crashing in OBS? Uh, good question. Um, we'll find out tonight, I guess. If, uh, if nothing crashes, yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, I haven't been, uh, the other streams I've been doing lately, I haven't been, like, switching back and forth between a lot of games, but, uh, yeah, here's hoping. We'll, uh, we'll see, I guess. Too early to tell, but, uh, something tells me it's not gonna be entirely fixed. <laughs> I wanna be free from, uh, from Scary Face Man. Oh, there's a there's a classic. Man, I miss the I miss the lesson constellation guy. 
the unlikely Taito mascot. Anyway, um, yeah, that's about uh, <laughs> uh, that's about all I need to I need to say for now. I think uh, y'all know the drill. We're gonna we're gonna look at some old arcade games, rate them on a on a scale of one to five bongos. The usual the usual shenanigans around here. <laughs> oh, that wacko one was good. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta take this down. <laughs> all the butts, Chubo, all the butts. So, we're in 1983. We wanted to, uh, we wanted to bring up uh, our good friends at Data East again. Uh, Data East have been uh, a lot of Data East like early, uh, uh, early games from like 1980 through 1982. Have all been have all been focused on uh, on one on one hardware system, the Data East uh, cassette system, which was uh, you know marketed as as being like easy to easy to convert to a new game. How many bongos did Wacko get? I think I gave it four, but Chat gave it three or something. I think the sound effects really pissed people off. Um, the Data East cassette system, yeah, it was uh, supposed to be an easily Easily exchangeable system for games, and Data East promised they would be uh, uh, they would be supporting it for a while, you know, to make it a more uh, a more promising investment for arcades. And they actually held up their bargain. They put out a lot of games on the Data East cassette hardware, and even into 1983, like pretty much, I think all the games except one, at least from Data East we're looking at tonight, are all on this damn cassette system hardware. So it's good they were supporting it, but but here's the problem: this hardware would, went back to like to all all the way to like uh, 1980. Like there's there's one or two games that have like an, a 1980 copyright date, but I don't think they came out till 1981. But you know there were a lot of games that came out in 1981, 1982. Uh, that system's kind of showing its age at this point, because like a couple of years in the early 80s is like kind of a long time for for like how quickly. Uh, hardware was developing, things were looking better. I mean, you still had, still had a lot of companies like ripping off, uh, or doing stuff on Galaxian and Scramble hardware, <laughs> Bongo hardware, all that stuff. But uh, Data East was sticking to that cassette system and trying to, uh, trying to get what they could out of the system. So let's uh, let's start with. Uh, <laughs> Let's start with a game people may have seen as like a uh, a, uh, a a grand prize on on Starcade, and pretty much everybody that like watched those episodes, like when they were when they were like streaming on Twitch, the Starcade episodes, they said, "What the hell is Greplop? I've never heard of this frickin' game. <laughs> what the frick is Greplop? Well, it's also known as as Cluster Buster. Uh, let's get that in the. I think Mame actually boots this up as, as Cluster Buster, actually. I have never seen a cabinet of this ever. <laughs> but uh, Data East, they were, uh, uh, they were a sponsor of Starcade, so they got the... Uh, they, they did their best to get the word out about, uh, about Gruplop. Uh, let's uh, zoom in. Uh, a unique ricocheting ball guided by a joystick-controlled bouncer. The Bouncer. The bouncing ball is used to dislodge an ever-changing army of geometric objects. It features brilliant, colorful graphics. Let's not talk about the sound. Don't, uh... <laughs> we're not, we're not going to talk about the sound in Griplop, don't worry. Uh, the player must use a skill in maneuvering the, the bouncer to overcome increasingly more challenging patterns. And yeah, if you already uh, own the system, but the game... You can buy the game kit, change the game in only five minutes... If you don't, buy a new machine, cheap ass. Uh, there were a couple other, uh... Oh, that's the wrong one. Where is it? There was like a... Is this a Japanese flyer? Yeah, it's kind of like the, uh, the prequel to Ghost Slop. Kind of. It's very... It's actually kind of similar. Yep, that's the wrong one. 
Oh, that does. That is a USA copyright. Never mind. This is just different, uh, different flyer, I guess. Okay. So where the hell did they call this cluster buster then? Knock down the juicy grapes for scoring high points. Uh, try to hit a core grape, because then the grapes attached to it will also fall. Yeah, this is, this is basically ghost slop. You will lose one bouncer if hit by falling grapes. Miss the ball on the rebound and it bounces against the bottom line, then grapes will drop on you much faster. So it's it's kind of like a uh, a breakout style game, except the blocks are always like coming down and trying to crush you. And I think if they crush you, you you instantly lose a life or something like that. I'm not a uh, I'm not a grip lop expert. But I'll do my best. All right, I don't, and I don't think this uses analog, right? Hold on. Uh, let me get the flyer back up. Uh, oops. Game is farting at me. No, that's joystick. Not right? That's joystick. Can't tell. Enhance. Yeah, it looks like a joystick to me. So yeah, it is it is digital controls. No analog involved. Anyway. As usual, the Data East cassette system takes like several minutes to start up. Yeah, my webcam's really off today. Color co correction will probably kick in once uh, the sun goes down. Alright, hurry up. Cluster Buster. Was Hunchback popular? Hunchback was popular in Europe. I think we're going to uh, skip Hunchback. When we get to it. Use Bouncer button to change angle. Oh, we have, oh yeah, we have two buttons. 17 straight hits for Grappo. 2,001 points and Mr. Grappo repairs the pavement. Bonus bo Bouncer awarded for hissing Mr. Grappo. Wait, what were the, the high score names? I missed it. Oh, you can move the you can move the bouncer up and down. You know, Mr. Crapo. Alright, I'm not actually playing yet. This is oh, it's just uh It's actually explaining. So yeah, you hit a button to to change the angle. But the problem is if you if you make it go like horizontal, uh, the grapes are falling faster. Also, there's spiders trying to kill you. This is all the demo. I'm not actually playing yet. <laughs> no demo sound. Put <laughs> no one. Keep hitting ball or it'll fall through bottom and you will die. Dang, this is a, a long demo. Trap ball in upper corners for high score. Save ups. 17 straight hits for the Grappo bonus. Whoa. Oh, there he is. There's Mr. Grappo. Grappo Coon. <laughs> He's carrying a floating 2001. Use up button to lift screen. Yep. Why is the demo just doing this? Yeah, we, we know how this works. His crap wagon is bongo color. Pattern one clear. Okay. Did you... Whoa. We gotta do math? Did you get all that? Man, this, this demo goes on for a while. Huh? Oh, the spiders fall really fast. How the fuck do you even react to some of these? This is only... Wait, it skipped a pattern three. Okay, I think we've seen enough. Oh. Ah, Jesus Christ. Ah, ow, ow, ow. Okay, 
Ow. Oh, I hit him. Ow, 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 ow. Is that too loud? I think it's too loud. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Um. <laughs> this is painful. Alright, I can move up and down. Except I can't touch the, uh, the things. Didn't get Naruto burrito because of your mom's dog. And your mom's credit card. Okay, um... It's still way too loud. Should I just put the, uh, the arcade ambiance back up? Oh my god. Okay, so I have... I have three ups. Bloop, bloop. Okay, uh, uh-oh. Pattern one, clear! Number of hits, 1740. Perfect clearance, 900. Alright, well... <laughs> so, what does everybody think of, of Griplop? <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> uh, man. Like, I, I know the sound harder wasn't that great, but, man. Uh-oh. There we go. We gotta, we gotta drop it. But yeah, it is, it is kind of like a mixture of Puzzle Bobble and uh, Ear Bleeding. Uh, you, lo you lose a life if the ball falls off the bottom, or if... I think if you touch the grapes. Or if the grapes reach the bottom, I think. I don't know, there were a lot of instructions. Oh, we gotta use the up button. Okay. There we go. Yeah, touch, uh, touch the grapes. Also, the uh, the eye looks really gross when it's when it's red. Ah, jeez. Okay, this is the stage where the the spiders are falling really fast, huh? Ah, I touched a grape. I guess I'm dead. Um, am I supposed to stop all this? I gotta use my ups. Oh, maybe it it doesn't it doesn't kill you if uh, if it hits the the bottom. It's just if it touches you. You know, it's just kind of boxing you in. Ah, a tarantula. Yeah, the game is kind of, like, slowing down like crazy every time, like, <laughs> it lands a hit. Seamless action. Oh. My ball disappeared. Oh, the blocks don't come back. Oh, boy. Alright, I got the high score. I want that grapple bonus, but um, it's probably not gonna happen. Okay, so you can just like focus on one side like this, right? Well, oh, there he is. There's Grappo! Grappo! Mr. Grappo! Come back here, Mr. Ooh, ooh! Yo, big combos! Uh, I didn't get the bonus from Mr. Grappo though. That was sick. They turned into dice. Okay, I did get the 2001. Nice. So you don't have to pick it up. He just uh, he just brings it on the Babongo wheelbarrow. <laughs> cool. Uh-oh. Uh, let's go to this side. Ball's getting really... Oh, no. Getting really fast. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> the up button does not save you from spiders. Ah! Okay. Okay, we need to... We need to just hang out over here for a bit. Yeah, where's the laser power-up? Ooh, big combo! Sick! That is kind of satisfying. Oh, that little tiny hole was enough. 
Player one game over. All right. Well. Wait, what the fuck? See, I. Oh my. Okay. Um. Data East. What the fuck? Those are the default scores. I didn't touch anything. Like, okay, CIA, FBI, KGB. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, the, the crusty comedy classic. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see the high scores before. Uh, <laughs> I wish I'd knocked out the, uh, the fourth place score. Too. What the fuck? Wait, is it like that on on the other versions of this? Can I change the uh you can change the country code. Number of upsign few. Falling speed easy or difficult. Okay, let's let's change the, the country code and see what happens. Dude, what the fuck, Data East? I mean, I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's up, Iron Cheek? Okay, now it's still called Cluster Buster here. I thought I... Well, I guess the high scores are stuck, right? Yeah. Is it saved it? I don't know if... Uh... I would hope, like, in other territories, they might have, uh, they might have changed the, uh, the high scores. Or the the default initials. Okay, let me. Uh, are there like? Okay, there are two clones of this. There's one that. Okay, there's a Japanese version, which says rules and stages are not the same. And one version that might be. Might be a prototype. Speed this up. Even with the speed up key, this takes a while. Hey, there's a graplop. Nope, the initials are still the same. Fuck. Okay, yeah, stage one is completely... Oh, look at this! It's got a... It's got a trampopoline. And no spiders, it's just, uh... What are those? Beep. Okay, I gotta hit that big chombo. Damn. Oh, Mr. Grappo! It looks like Peter Pepper. That's Peter Pepper from Burger Time. Oh, the ball turned red for a second. Okay, so I assume if it if it hits the trembopoline twice, you die. Ah! Well, you also die if you run into the... <laughs> the grapes. Okay, so the Japanese version is just... Different stages. Can't believe Peter Pepper would be involved with this. He was contractually obligated by Data East, I think. This was a Turbo Graphics game? How? The Turbo Graphics came out like. <laughs> the PC Engine came out like, what, five or six years after this? Whoa, look at this. This looks like a, a centipede stage when somebody's been playing the game for too long. Okay, let me hit the trampoline, like, a couple times. Does it just not break the... It's not breaking the thing. And the ball turned red. Uh, I don't know what the significance of that is. The trampoline resets if you touch the, the ball. Yeah. 
This is kind of a ridiculous stage, too, because it just boxes you in so fast. Beep. Oh, come on. we got to get some big, big combos here. But, I mean, I guess there's less... Uh, less... What's it? Less threat of dying? When the... The floor can't break, right? It's cutting away points? Oh, yeah, you don't get points when the ball's red, I see. Okay. Hmm, all right. Okay, uh, I think I've seen enough here. <laughs> what was the, uh, there's another version that, like, Mame says it might be a prototype? With a question mark? We're not really, we're not really sure. But yeah, Japanese version is definitely a lot easier when you don't have to worry about the, the floor breaking. So I could, I guess I could understand why they would, they would change it. Come on, speed it up. Okay, whoa, whoa, what did that say? Oh, I was, ah. I gotta reset. I didn't. I didn't see what it said. It said something different, and it didn't. It didn't have the high score screen. It looked like it was something funny. Grape, core of grape, falling grape. If you get more than fifteen thousand points, we give you one defense ball. And there's no high scores, so they didn't. Uh... <laughs> oh shit! There's no floor at all. So if you just miss it, you're dead? Is that... Is that what's going on here? Alright, let's try. Oh, the sound is still fantastic. Okay. Oh, no, the floor is there. Oh, the grapes can fall and hit you. Okay, this version sucks. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Bruh. How was I supposed to get... The, the grapes fall so fast. Okay, I can see why they... Uh... Oh, there's a shield? Oh. Aha. Well, why would you not hold the shield button all, all the time, then? Oh, I, oh, it gives you five lives. They knew how, how hard this would be. <laughs> they knew how bullshit this was. Yeah, button one makes you go faster, but button two gives you a shield. I would assume the shield does not work when these are, like, falling normally, or else you could just, uh... Oh, wait, you can? Oh. Mmm, hmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, okay. One handed gaming. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, uh, you can just hold the button down. <laughs> well, I see why they, they changed stuff from the prototype. Because that wasn't gonna fly. You're not gonna make any but any money on this game at your arcade if uh, if the players found out you can just hold uh, hold button two down. Well, this is not the version that got released, so it's very unlikely anybody other than that uh, if they did like a, a location test or something. Hmm. All right. Well. And then just let go and you die. So if there was no infinite shield, this would be damn near impossible. But with it, it's uh, it's unplayable. All right, well...
when we rate this, let's let's consider the. Wait, it didn't. Uh, it didn't ask me for my initials. It really is a prototype. All right. Well, let's let's consider not this version, but the uh, the finished versions of the game. Because this is uh, this is this is busted. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to... Still has those great sounds. All right, I'm going to put a poll up in chat. I don't want to load up the other the other version of the game because it has offensive high score names. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll just leave this going. Uh, anyway, rate this game on a scale of, of one to five bongos. Y'all will have a uh, a minute, and then I'll uh, I'll give my verdict too. There should be a, a poll at the top of uh, at the top of stream chat. Gameplay wise, yeah, it, it it's kind of it's kind of something, but the sound is <laughs> the sound is fucking terrible. I mean, yeah, there there are some important changes between the uh, the U.S. and the Japanese version. Basically, the the Japanese version giving you a floor that doesn't break, and then the U.S. version having like several several blocks that can break. And if those those go away, then the ball can fall. That makes it a lot more a lot more difficult. I don't know, it's it's, it's kind of weird to rate it when we have like uh, multiple versions going on. Anyway, uh, stream chat, y'all gave it, uh, 60% gave it a 2. Uh, <laughs> didn't even get a 5. Uh, well, yeah, that seems about right. Like, there's, uh, there's sort of, there's sort of something to the gameplay. But, uh, at the same time, it's, it's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Hello, hey who? Yeah, I don't know. Two, two seems about right. I could maybe see it, see it being a three. I want to say the people that gave it a one gave it based on the, uh, <laughs> the sound design, which, uh, I can't really argue that. <laughs> Yeah, that was the first game. And let's 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 not talk about the high scores, man. Date East, man. What the fuck? It did have Mr. Grappo. He was cool. And then he got fucking. They erased him out of existence in the Japanese version for Peter Pepper. Justice for Mr. Grappo. Mr. Grapo. Put Mr. Grapo in Smash. He's overdue for a revival. Alright, let's uh let's move on. So what else did uh What else did Data East release in 1983? They released another game with uh with two different titles. I believe this was known in Japan as La Papa. But when they brought it over to the US, uh, they decided that name wouldn't uh, wouldn't uh, wouldn't pass. So they called it Rootin Tootin. Love to root and toot. Burger Time wasn't covered because that game is too popular. Anyway, um, <laughs> rootin' and tootin'. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any uh, flyer art for for rootin' tootin'. Uh, but basically, this is a maze game where you're a saxophone, and uh, I don't know what those enemies are. Bongo-colored enemies. 
Um, I only played this for a, a little bit off stream, and uh, it seemed it seemed easy at first, but it probably gets it probably gets really ridiculous later. All right, what was the what was the name of this? Lapapa. There we go. Not sure why Burger Time was popular. It had a lot of distribution because uh, in the United States, Midway distributed they distributed Burger Time and Bump and Jump, so those games got got way more distribution than most uh, Date East cassette games got. So a lot more people saw them. They became uh, a lot more popular. What year am I going up to with the series? Who knows? Who knows? That's a long ways off. We're all, I'll worry about it when I get there. Rootin' and tootin'. Get taco, guitaro, mad phone, trian. They're all they're all trademarked. <laughs> the Data East really trademark get taco. Did they go to the the patent office to trademark all these? There's a bonus. A piana. Get it? Oh, this is this is a 1983 video game, by the way. <laughs> oh, this does not look good. So I believe this has... Wait, is it one button or two? Those are just generic controls. Um, yeah, it's basically musical-themed Pac-Man. Even that title screen looks like garbage. Yeah, the fucking piss yellow background. It's more like puke yellow. Get ready. It's time to root and toot. Oh man, it's got... Wait, what? what's going on with the controls here? Oh, I see, I see. You have to pick up the musical notes to be able to fire them. So when you pick one up, it automatically fires forward. And otherwise you have to hit a button to go invincible. Wait, what? I couldn't get the... Damn, I said this game was going to be easy, and now I'm getting my, my ass handed to me. So you have a button to, like, turn invincible. I don't know if that... You have, like, a limited amount of it? Oh, you can't pick up the, the things when you're invincible. Okay. There we go. Oh, nom, 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 nom. oh, you don't get much warning before they come out. Oh yeah, it's a French horn, not a saxophone. That pattern two start screen went by really fast. Ow. Game over. Okay, that was a that was a bad first credit. Apparently, I got fifty four thousand on this in uh, in Mame Roulette, huh? Let's try that again. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. It's even the same bonuses as Pac-Man. 200, 400, 800, 1600. <laughs> yeah, it's not, uh... This game's, uh, chugging along. <laughs> Can't handle these four enemies on a, on a puke background. Oh, take that. Uh, do I have time to get that? Yeah, the Funky Town music was just from, uh, uh, the hit SNK arcade game, Fantasy. I say hit like it was actually a hit. Nom, 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 nom. Alright. Oh, they put the enemy boxes at the top. Okay. 
So, I don't know, it's... This game is... Uh, oh, there's two horns. Oh, that's an extra life! Nice! Okay. Yeah, I don't know, it... It's playable! <laughs> to some degree. Um, is it good? Uh... Uh... <laughs> oh, shit, he's... Barfing out notes. Uh-oh. I thought the level was over. You're being chased. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I've, I've played worse. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, this wouldn't have been so bad for 81. <laughs> but by 83, I feel like this is, uh... falling a little behind the times. I mean, there's gonna be no shortage of, of maze games in 83. Or even 84, but... Is that a... Is that, is that spike thing gonna kill me? <laughs> I actually don't... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's leaving them behind. Okay. Ah, you gotta shoot them away. Okay. Ow. Damn, Piana. That's a trademark. Uh-oh. Like that. Oh, no! There's more... Oh, I shot the, the power-up thing. It's gone. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, this is... Ah! I don't, I don't think there's enough tooting going on. Man, you can kill the, the power-up thing. That sucks. Uh-oh. I need that extra life. It. I didn't know it was gonna be there. How was I supposed to know? Man. Extra lives are not guaranteed. I mean, yeah, the whole musical note shooting's kind of interesting, but it's it's also kind of difficult to shoot the shoot actually shoot the notes at enemies, you know? that <laughs> why can't you kill the power up thing I don't know my own toot strength oh shit I'm being chased like that they put the extra life down there I can't get to it in time so you gotta remember oh I thought I got the power up. Did it disappear? The enemies were frozen. I'm extremely confused. The red guitars don't become vulnerable to the power up. Well, that's whack. <laughs> Maze design is my spe my passion. Oh, thought I hit the button. Not enough tootin'. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I I killed the power up horn, and then the enemy came out and killed me. Ah. Uh. 
that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about this one. <laughs> this doesn't have like a clone set, does it? It does. But I just wait. The other one is marked as a U.S. version. But I just played. I just played Rootin' Tootin'. I mean, you can change stuff with the country code, but Mad Phone trademarked. I don't know. There, there's kind of something to this, but also the game doesn't actually like have a high score list. It's just the the one high score, huh? I guess I got that 54,000 in Mame Roulette, I assume. Seems like by 1983, games should be, you know, standardizing having uh, having an actual ranking list and not just one score like, like Pac-Man did, but I guess if Pac-Man only had one high score, we're going to rip that off. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, well, it's it's playable to some degree. Uh, I don't know if I would give this one bongo. <laughs> so, I mean, just... It's playable. There is a lore master out there. The high score on the on Mame Action Replay page? 506,920. Second place is 81,000. So... So somebody's good at it. But I don't know. Form your own opinion. I would assume, like, you know, if you if you spend enough time to learn, like, where the, uh... <laughs> where the one-ups appear. <laughs> where the, uh, where the power-ups are. Yeah, you could probably get farther. Uh, the question is, would you want to? You could be playing other things. That's the way I look at it. Anyway, 63% of the votes gave it a 2. Yeah, the color palette is not nice to look at. <laughs> uh, at the very least, like it doesn't it doesn't sound as terrible as Graplop, right? It's uh <laughs> I'll give it a two. It's it's playable to some degree, so I can't uh, I can't flush it entirely. But still, for a 1983 game, oof, oof. Nova 2001 was 1983. Yeah, we have not. Uh, there's some UPL games we haven't looked at yet, but that is on the list. So long, Gitako. <laughs> what a good name. I did like the names. Okay, there's already some... Uh... There's already some art I gotta catch up on. Hold on a sec. Bling. Did I make it far enough to get to the mad phone? I don't, I don't think I did. everything. <laughs> oh, it was on that stage? Okay. Cool, we saw all the content. Kind of. But yeah, it's, it's really fucked up that, like, some of the enemies... You just can't... You can't hit them when they're... Invincible? Or when you turn invincible? Supposed to be invincible. Like, you know, you get the power of pellet. You're supposed to be able to eat up all the enemies, right? That's how that's how things usually work in maze games. And then you can't. Come on, man. Alright. 
Not even an hour in, and we already got to do a, a big art catch-up. <laughs> like I said, the artists around here are, uh, are really good at the stuff. Um, okay. There was a whole bunch of stuff for Graplop. Uh, thank you, uh, Ultra Sixty Four, for uh, for creepy. Uh, let me get that back up. The creepy uh, Graplop eyeball with Mr. Grappo. Thank you, Ultra Sixty Four. Thank you, Tepid Snake. Also. On the same bad wagon with the with the two th with the uh, the bongo color two thousand one. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, it's, it's Peter Pepper in the other one, but Mister Mister Grapo here. Get it right. Thank you, Tepid Snake. Sorry about that. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Clip It 97, for the Graplop. <laughs> the Baplop. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Excellent. You know, I had to do it to him. Thank you, Clip It. Uh, thank you, Twist Neko. We used to do uh, balloon art interpretations and stuff. Getting back into a, uh, getting back into drawing. Bongo fell down, <laughs> along with Tarantula. If I can get these all in here, there we go. Good enough. Thank you, Twist Neko. And uh, have a good night, Tapa Snake. Thanks for the art. I'll catch you later. And thank you, the Green Herring. Oop. I accidentally canceled it. Hold on. I thought I hit OK. Yeah, come on. There we go. Although, I'm not sure we should be, uh... Um... Immortalizing the uh, the high score screen like that, I think that's uh, <laughs> maybe not the the wisest move. I get what you're going for, but <laughs> maybe uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. A little uncomfortable. Put a put a sensor bar over it. But I get what uh, I get what you're going for. I thank you, the Green Heron, Twist Neko, Clip at 97, Tepa Snake, and Ultra 64. <laughs> yeah. Warner Brothers Looney Tunes warning. Yeah. No, it wasn't even okay in 1983. Yes, we, we know, Mr. Energy. We were talking about that. <laughs> we, we, we know what it stands for. We don't want to talk about it. Nobody wants to talk about it. Uh, anyway. Uh, we got other things to look at. Oh, God, this game. Um, <laughs> uh, do we have to play this? We don't have to play this, do we? Yes, we do. Uh, we gotta play Skater. A.K.A. Skater Gator, which apparently isn't dumped. Unless it's one of those country code things. Uh, in this game you play as a clown with really long legs on roller skates. Uh, having to show off and, uh, and skate around things. Um... Yeah... 
It's clown time! Man. Computron. Yeah, so there's like all these, uh... All these scans for the, the Japanese version, but the uh, the version that's in MAME is just, uh... It's just called Skater. And you know, you hear that, you think, you hear the name Skater, and you're like, oh, it might be just be a... It might just be a perfectly normal skating game with, with no clowns involved. Oh, if, if only. If only! Uh, if we should only be so lucky. This doesn't have any clone sets, does it? Let me check. No, it does not. Okay. Ay ay ay. Okay. I mean, it's got the whole country code thing. Maybe if I, I fuck around with that, I can find the... the skater, gator, tire screen. Number of skates, small, large. Enemy speed, easy, difficult. Right. Load it up. He was a skater boy. Best five players. Nobody. Score advance table. Make clown powerful. Pick up the enemies and get extra hit count and bonus. Whoa, they're animated. Is that flicky? Pick up the boots and rage points after. From 50 to 400 points each. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this fucking game. And then he lands on his taint when he dies. Ah, no, not the beach ball! Oh shit, make clown powerful. This is a fake game. This isn't real. Somebody, somebody made this as a joke. I've played this before. Yeah, I've, I've kind of played all these games before in Mamerlet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> game just chirped at me. The car reaching out for trash game? That was uh, Munchmobile. We present you course one. Now let's start. Okay, so you can... Ugh. You push up and down to like speed up and slow down. Ugh. Okay. And if you hit something that raises or lowers the, the hit count at the bottom. I guess you want to speed up for oh god, for the cars. Ow. Congratulations! You've got a bonus. We present you. I, I hate that the courses are in double digits. Make Clown powerful! Wait, what? Am I supposed to go around the... Okay. Of course! Okay. Oh, big steppies! Oh. Uh, you can't run into the boots or you die. Give him a big steppy! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, okay. All of a sudden, course two is difficult. Oh, I think I got an extra life. Oh, come on! Man! Naming. Please spell by using a red button and a lever within counts. Whoa. Wait. Oh! Oh, it's like Crime City. You can draw a... draw a penis. That's not really... I, I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. Uh... Oh, that was a thank! We hope you will come <laughs> and enjoy this game again. Ah, uh, we hope you will come. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that, that might be the best part of this game.
Yeah, th this game is marketed towards the uh, uh, any shameful yank man with a with a clown fetish. They're probably out there, right? Did we miss that thank when this came up in Mame Roulette? I guess we might have. All right, let's try to get past Course Two. Why was Course Two so much? Ah, ow, ow, ow! So much uh, longer than Course One. Ow, 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 ow. Also, if you run into the sides, you also die. A lot of things can kill this clown. Make clown powerful! Okay. Of course, one's a tutorial. Yeah, of course. Ah, fuck! My toes, my toes! Oh, that didn't count? Oh my god, it's so hard to get the shoes. How do I get the shoes? Also, I'd assume you can still die when you're... Oh my, how, how was I supposed to get that? Oh, they gave me big stepping mode at the very end. Okay. We present you Course 03. Oh shit, take out the fucking flag! God, when the shoes go all the way to the side, you can't get them. Time to ride out. This sucks. <laughs> Wait, how do I? What? There we go. Yeah, I got time. <laughs> this is the best part of the game. <laughs> Thank you very much. We hope you will come and enjoy this game again. Yeah, you gotta have an erase button, you know? <laughs> so we went from a we went from a game that didn't even have a high score list to a game that lets you like draw out messages. Kind of, yeah. I haven't even. We haven't even like seen the enemies. I haven't seen any of those enemies yet. Let me try uh, one more time. Don't put me in the skater vortex. I think what I would have at least seen like one of those by now. So I should probably just ignore the shoes. No good comes about from the shoes, because it looks like you only get you only get one extra life, right? So What's the lore on him being giant? Uh I think I'd rather not know. A polar bear, thank you for the 26 months. Oh yeah, this is a good time to do like a Data East thing because yeah, like uh, Fighters History Dynamite just turned uh, 30 years old on Saturday, Sunday. How has that game been out for like 30 years? Came out same year as Super Turbo. Take out the fucking flag. 
Oh, there's the beach. Ah, no, not the beach ball. Oh shit, log. Okay, we saw the enemies. Oh no, you can't do that there. Okay. And that entire DVD was on YouTube at one point. I don't know if it got taken down. Ah, man. This game's hard. <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> this this is definitely the best feature of the game. I get to show my artistic uh, ability. That's a bad B. Fuck balls. <laughs> it looks like a five. Shit. Erase, erase. Wait, I don't have an erase button. All right, fuck ball five it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you were lucky enough to find a, a skater cabinet at your local arcade, uh, you could at least do things like write in Fuckball 5. <laughs> uh, uh, it, I, I don't know. Is, is it that bad, though? Uh, I don't know about this game. <laughs> it's not great. Let me uh, let me look at the other uh, the other country codes. Let's see if uh, I'll see if anything changes the name. Oh, the problem is every time you reset, you got to sit through all this. Also, I might have just killed the high scores, but I don't know if it saves. I guess we'll find out. No, it doesn't save. Well, it still says uh, skater. So I don't know if uh, I don't know what was this a U.S. No, it, it says it was a Japanese dump. Mame says this was a Japanese dump, but it's not using the skater gator name. See, it says Japan. So maybe Skater Gator was like a location test name or something, and then they decided to shorten it down. I like the xylophone dog. But yeah, still still doing cassette stuff in 1983. Like the hardware was like two or three years old at this point, and that's what I was saying earlier. It's just... Uh, um, starting to show its age... But it was also like Data East wanting to uh, wanting to fulfill their promise of uh, of delivering more cassette games to to arcades for for easy upgrades. But there's only so much you can do with that hardware. But they'll uh, they'll move on soon. Sort of. They'll. they'll, they'll <laughs> They will try things on new hardware, but they will stick to this hardware <laughs> and like for for some future games too. So that's kind of fucked up. Anyway, um, I don't know. This this game isn't like complete shit, but it's very it's very frustrating since the entire the entire gameplay revolves around stretching your your freaky clown legs around stuff on the ground. But when you stretch them out, you can end up. Uh, you end up hitting a wall and dying, or... You know, shoes make clown powerful. But then... If you hit the shoes, you also die. There's, like, a lot of ways to die. And honestly, I'm in... I'm, I fully support, like... Uh, murdering clowns. <laughs> Can I say that? Am I getting a banned on Twitch for that? Um... I don't know. It's... It's not a one. Even though 
Clowns would be enough to bring it down to a one, right? Well, uh... 60% gave it a three. Or no, gave it a two. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't disagree with that. Slap a big booty on the clown. Put the clown in Nikkei and have his uh, have his butt bouncing up and down. Nikkei X Skater collaboration. Yeah, two seems about right. I'm scared what the art's gonna be for this. <laughs> Oh, we already have one. <laughs> okay, uh, let me catch up. Alright, uh, let's see here. Gotta have the jiggle physics. Oop, I need to I need to move off the screen. There we go. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Chubo, for the rootin' tootin' art. Ugh, look at his feet. He's gross. John Rootentootin is really gross. And he's peeing out his butt. Uh, thank you, Chubo. <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, thank you, the Green Heron. For the... Oh, that's the wrong one. That's the one I just showed. No, 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 no. Wrong one. There it is. Rootin' and tootin'. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for... Thank you for that. And Twist Neko, thank you for... For those goofy clown legs. Yeah, this this stream's already ended up uh, uh, more cursed than I ever could have Im imagined. <laughs> How does it keep happening? Thank you, Twist Neko. Thank you, the Green Heron. Thank you, Chuba. All right, well, man, I keep thinking of I keep thinking about shoes, shoes making clown powerful and all that. You want shoes? We got shoes. Hey, look what I found! Oh, my knee! Shoes! Glad for the radio show. This is tall building. I haven't run that one in a while, huh? <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, what, what was I going to say? Um, Dead East. They made sports games. They were, uh, they did a lot of sports games on the Dead East cassette hardware. We've seen, like, some of them. They did, uh, they did a fishing game that was, that was kind of good. They did, uh, they did a golf game that was, like, surprisingly good for 1981. And then they made the, they made, like, the worst tennis game I've ever played, where you can't hit with a backhand. Um, they ended up making a lot of a lot of attempts at sports games on the uh, on the cassette system hardware. So, uh, guess what? We got more because I believe this might be the the first the first soccer game we're looking at in this series. The first of many. <laughs> there will be many more soccer games in the years to come. I'm sure. 
But I think this is like the I don't think, I don't know if this is the first arcade soccer game. There might have been one by uh, another company. I might I might I might have, I might have missed something. I'm not sure. But anyway, Data East made a uh, made a soccer game. Pro soccer. <laughs> Apparently, Chubo went back in time and drew the flyer for this. <laughs> Guy getting kicked in the ass. Uh, they've got the shameful yank man noses and everything. It's a goal. It's winner. Is it winner though? Uh, there was like, oh, here we go. The thrill of the world's most popular game challenges player skills. up here. Use the lever to manipulate the player with the ball. Press blue button to pass across field. Press red button for a long pass forward. Oh yeah, pass the ball among your team. That must be the the British spelling. Uh, goal shot. Push red button when the arrow and player centers on the goal. Centering pass. Push blue button to pass in from the sideline to a teammate in front of the goal. Offside when you pass to a player in the goal area who is forward of all opponents. Yeah. It sure is. It sure does look like soccer. Uh, there's another flyer. Uh, the most interactive sports game ever offered. So I like that these are not like actual game screenshots. These are just illustrations of what they of what they think the game is going to look like. <laughs> this isn't real. It's currently the number one game in Japan. Ah, was it the number one game in Japan? Maybe we can't cover this if this was the number one game in Japan. Although, um, citation needed, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some proof of that. And yeah, here's the, here's the Japanese flyer. What is, what is wrong with this man's face? I think I like the other one better. Anyway. Yeah, his foot exploded and soccer ball came out of it. So, this might be the first one of the first arcade soccer games. Uh how does it hold up? How does it play? <laughs> you may be surprised. Oh wait a minute, this is not on uh on uh cassette hardware. This is on. This is on different hardware. I thought this was on cassette hardware. The the cassette system hardware. All right. That means it's gonna be even better. Best five players. Nobody. Oh shit! There he goes. Yeah, we haven't even seen liberation yet. Press short pass button. Oh, these guys are really blompy. Press long pass button. Press goal kick button. No goal. Player one game over. You die. Yeah, so here's the thing about this game. Uh, whoa. Why are the guys still on the screen? <laughs> They're just burnt into the monitor now, huh? Here's the thing about this game. This does not play how you would expect every other arcade soccer game to play. Ah! Alright, what am I... That's the long pass button. Okay. Hey, it's got a radar at the top so you can see where you're passing to. Some soccer games don't have that. Uh-oh. This guy... Enemy ball. So this game has lives. I just died. You have three lives, and you have to you have to score a goal on each life, or you die. So if the enemy gets the ball, there's just no coming back from that. Oh, wrong button. Oh, enemy ball. Yeah, it's kind of like ten yard fight soccer, kind of. 
Green hair, I think, for the 100 bits. What? I could have recovered that. Game over. Rub spot end. Yeah! Um... Oh shit, they cut his bot his top half of his body off. Alright, uh, let's let's try again. I like the music, kinda. He totally went out of bounds! Okay, what is the uh uh what is the goal kick button? Yeah. Uh, nope, not that one. Enemy ball. I haven't been able to kick kick on, at, on the goal yet. I thought it was button one. It's gotta be it's gotta be button one because button two is short pass. Wait, do I do I have to pass? How long is this fucking field? Okay. How are you? What? How the fuck did he get that? Mudbound dragon. Hey, thank you for the raid. How's it going? Okay. Thank you for the host. Uh, oh, 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 nope. Okay. No goal. If you start it up and then insert a coin and hit start really fast, you get a huge score for no reason. Okay. Uh, probably on like first boot up. All right. Uh oh, enemy ball! There's no recovering from that. <laughs> so I think this is like the uh, the conundrum like Data East is facing with sports games, where they they want to keep like game time down as short as possible, and they want to like institute a live system for for like these games. For like a sports game, so you have you have three lives in this game, just like every other game, right? So they this doesn't really play like what you would expect a soccer game to play like. Okay. I can't score a single goal. Is there a timer? Can you just dribble the ball forever? You can probably dribble it forever. Alright, I want to try that tech. Hold on, let me, uh... Okay. Oh, there it is! 1-up M870! Oh, look at that! Damn, he's good! 636,000. Thank you, Dumpl John. Damn, he's good. Oh, maybe you gotta pass and then... Oh, no! Dun, 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 dun. Fuck. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I got 630,000 from doing absolutely nothing. No! Enemy ball! Enemy ball! No! Oh. They kicked it downfield. I'm never gonna recover from that. Are there score basic sensor? Might be. I don't know, I haven't scored a single goal yet. <laughs> Give me that. Oh, come on. Enemy ball! I like that the other team is the enemy. The man next to me is not a friend, he's a foe. Well, this sucks. <laughs> whoa, whoa, look at the high scores, cool. Awesome. Is it gonna fix itself when I reset? Yeah, you just credit up immediately in the... 635,000 for free. Okay, button two doesn't always... Whoa. Pass.
The red arrow doesn't change fast enough. I guess I have to, like, get another player. Man, I have, like, five players down here. Why did you kick it right to the goalie? Dumbass. The red arrow, like, doesn't move the way I want it to move. No, oh, enemy ball! Enemy ball! No. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, I had it! No! Enemy ball! No, oh, I had a chance. Man, I just want to score one goal. <laughs> it's not easy difficulty! Number of nice goal, five. I can't even get one nice goal. I think the flyer said something about that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you can mess up the high score list, though. That's pretty sick. Um... <laughs> I don't know about this game. Are there any lore masters for this on, on MARP? Certainly there are. My score in MARP is 100,070 points. Second place is like 29,000. Which I assume would mean they actually like scored, even like second place scored goals. But yeah, I totally beat that. I got like six times that score. Because I'm really good at video games. Alright, well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, let's, uh, well, let's put it to a vote. Does this look like a, a fun video game you'd want to put a token into? Uh... Man, I really thought this was cassette hardware. It looked like it. Number one game in Japan! At like one arcade for one week. Looks like it would be a two player game. Can you do two player? I think it's just alternating. Yeah, it looks like it's alternating. Enemy ball! Yeah, you can't even play a versus match. That's a sports game you can't play with a friend. So it doesn't even have that going for it. Well, 84% of the votes... <laughs> Why did three people give this a four but nobody gave it a three? What the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> Four is the new five, I guess. But, yeah, this is... I can't even score a fucking goal! Like, maybe I just... I, maybe I just don't know the tech, but, like, the computer's not able to score a goal either. <laughs> yeah, how do you have lives in a soccer game? Next you're gonna tell me you're gonna have, like, lives and bowling. That's called foreshadowing. Well, pro soccer... Eh, no. Uh, I think other companies will, will know better. All right, we got to, we got more art. <laughs> let me uh, let me catch up. <laughs> God damn it. 
Okay. Blah 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 blah. blah. All right. Uh, we had a uh, we had a rootin' tootin' piece. Uh, from Big Bear. A sad toot. Thank you, Big Bear's Cave. <laughs> the general thoughts about about Rootin' Tootin'. About no, his name is Lapapa. That's his official name. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Ultra Sixty Four. Oh man, dragging poor Bongo along. Watch out for that rock. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ultra Sixty Four. And guess what? Chubo did a did a piece for for Skater. Do y'all want to see it? Thanks, Chubo. That is, that is some clown booty. He does do the peace sign when he finishes the stage. There we go. <laughs> well, Bongo was in the first episode. We did Bongo at the very beginning of Push to Reject. You have to start with Bongo to establish the, the Bongo scale. Right, thank you, Chubo. Thank you, Ultra64. Thank you, Big Bear's Cave. The clown got a dumpy. All right. Ah, man. That's a skater. All right. I mentioned I mentioned earlier that there was uh, uh, a tennis game that Data East uh, came out with that was the worst tennis game I've ever played. Oh, guess what? They're back at it. We've got super doubles tennis. Um, will this be better than the original tennis game? It has to be, right? There's no way it can be worse. Oh yeah, that's totally John McEnroe on the left, huh? You cannot be serious! Uh, wall of text. It's doubles tennis. It's got the men and the ladies. But look at that screenshot. It looks a lot like the original game. So, uh, I'll be honest. I didn't really, uh, I didn't really play this much off stream because. Uh, uh, it's a tennis game. Okay, this is on Burger Time hardware, which is essentially... Cassette hardware. Oh, without the cassette! Top 20 chair. We got... They were confident that 20 people would play this? Alright, hit point, return point, return ace. Game point, set point, match point. A bonus player? Did that mean we have lives? I think we have lives in this game. Damn, the other team is tiny. I think we're playing against some dwarves. Oh, look at that. The computer did a backhand. All right. Rival, mate. Four more dwarves. Whoa, look. Ow, Jesus Christ. Okay, the computer's controlling the lady who's doing everything. I think I saw a panty shot. Well, you can... You can do backhands. Well, they improved uh, one thing about it. 
But again, you have no ball shadow, yeah, so it's hard to tell where the ball is bouncing. That's out. Also, it looks like there's only one button. Out. <laughs> out. Computer just keeps hitting the ball out. I like it. Yeah! I miss Mr. Grapo. He should have been in more games. Oh, change sides. Hey, I actually want a game. That's better than, uh... Oh, wait, I'm still... Oh! I'm still at the bottom. Nice. Okay, it's really hard to hit the ball back. Ah! Damn, I'm good. Okay, hold on, I have to see. No, I guess not. It looked like there was one, but... Okay, your players are really slow. Oh! He turned... Okay. Wait, is that how it works? Oh, fault. I don't know, that kind of looks like a... Yeah, that's a panic shot. <laughs> Double fault! Yeah, I lost a game, so I died. Wait. Oh! Oh, okay. So when you press... When you press right, you're doing a forehand, but when you press left, you do a, a backhand. It's really hard to receive. All right, so it looks like you want to hit the ball at the, the top. Hey. My dude, wait, what? Where? Wait, what? Huh? Did it, it hit the top of the net and fall? Is that what happened? <laughs> God damn it, Morris. Um, well... It's kind of an improvement over, uh... Over the original tennis game, but... By how much? It was weird. When it hit the net, it looked like I hit the net. Like, the ball, like, stopped and then, like, went backwards and hit the net. Let me try one more time. So, so again, you can't finish the full game unless you... Unless you're winning every set. Your players are way too slow, and you can't dive for it. Hey. Hey, at least you can hit backhands in this game. Like I said, the original tennis game did not let you do that. That's... fucking... <sighs> oh, that's out. Fuck. Wah, 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 wah. And it's got panty shots, so... Man. This is hard. Every dating sports game is fucking impossible. Oh, you hold the button, you hit the ball higher. In, take that. The ball goes screaming. Why are both of them playing the net? Cheaters. Ow. 
Ow. My player was sliding when I wasn't pressing anything. That was pretty funny. Ah, right through me. Come on. Yes! Take that. Back to serving. Serve and receive. Serve. Return and receive. Damn it! Man, the CP is aggressive. They're just playing the net. Take that. Nice. Hey, I'm starting to get it, maybe. Never mind. <laughs> Time to double fault. Oh. My partner is worthless. Ah, uh, match point. Out. Deuce, baby. Yo, partner, you want to like hit something? Yeah, just leave it for me. Hey, I won. Nice. New PB. We're still in match one, set one, though. <laughs> what? What? My partner does nothing. How long does a credit last until you lose two games? At which point a sniper shoots you. You're not allowed to play tennis anymore. Oh, there we go. My partner did something. Okay, I don't know why I keep hitting these these high shots. I want I want low shots. Oh, fuck off, man. Game over. We're tied 2-2, two, two, though. How is it game over and set? We're tied 2-2. Two, two. God damn it, Date East. I didn't even break 10,000. <laughs> ah, it's 2-2. Two, two. Call it a night. You're done. Get off the court. Bonus life for one set one. So a set is like... Is it six points or seven points? You'd have to win like six games in a row to get uh, a new a new extra life. Good grief. Yeah, six. Okay. All right. What's the... High score for this on the main action replay page. 59,082. Mm, second place is 57,000. Third place is 11,000. <laughs> only two people on the internet know how to play this. Or only two people at MARP. Um, it's an improvement over their first tennis game. But um, it still feels weird. It's a doubles game where your partner doesn't do jack shit most of the time. And of course, it's a sports game where they have to they have to implement a life system to to make sure credits don't last too long. So, like, I get it because you know, arcades want to they want to keep game time down. Like the optimal the optimal amount of time for a for an arcade credit for a, for operators is like two to three minutes. 
which sounds like a ripoff, but you know, you want to, you want the player to feel like they got some game time for their quarter, but didn't get kicked off the machine too fast. Obviously, when you're chasing one CCs, you want that credit to last as long as possible. But that was that was the general philosophy at the time. Bro, you are ancient. Yo, thanks, man. You were banned. <laughs> anyway, um... Thank you, Sea Dude Dog. Yeah, let's do a, let's do a poll for this. <laughs> nice first time chat, bitch. Anyway. Was this better than the uh was this better than the first tennis game? Uh it was, but yeah, is it enough for for like even two bongos? Mmm, maybe? I don't know. Fuck no. <laughs> what got you in <laughs> Thank you, Mortis. Uh okay, well, 63% gave it a 2. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's... It's a bit of a toss-up. Like, it is more playable. It's better than the soccer game. But, like... This is like straddling the line between a 1 and a 2. Again. That seems to happen a lot lately, doesn't it? Um... Ah, maybe, there, maybe there's something more to this. Like, I don't really know how to... Uh... I didn't really figure out how to uh, hit the ball like higher or lower. Yeah, does this have the uh, the benefit of uh, of having the uh, the opening act be the the soccer game? I guess I'll give it a two, but it's a very 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 low two, man. It's it's really close. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. There may be a little more to it, but. We gotta go to six. We can't put six entries in a in a Twitch poll, unfortunately. Five's the limit. All right. Oh man. What a. Oh, data east. That's a top 20 list. That's got to be worth something, right? Well. Uh, I think we got one more sports game. Right? Let me double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One more. One more sports game. <laughs> No, I can't put more than... I, I don't think I can put more than... Uh, yeah, I can't have more than uh, than five responses in a poll. Yeah, what what sports have Data East not done yet? Yeah, basketball, baseball, hockey. Well... No, they did. Uh, they did bowling. <laughs> That's some uh, some fine art there. Um, pro bowling. But this this art is very very confusing to me because um, in game the the player is male, <laughs> but all the art is of a, a female bowler. I don't know if it's like a different uh, a different dump or something, different rom dump. 
Um, again, they did the uh, the thing where they uh, they drew the screenshots instead of. Uh, I guess the one on the right's an actual screenshot, but the one on the left is uh, artist rendition of what the game is going to look like. How would you like to be right in the middle of a strike? Strikes, spares, and splits, hooks, curves, and straight balls. All the action of real bowling. So you can you can move the lever left and right, up and down to curve or hook the ball. Watch the bowling speed meter on the left. Push the red ball to bowl. So it is it is a joystick plus uh, plus button game. It's not it's not trackball based. That's what a lot of arcade bowling games would be because you know rolling the trackball simulates throwing uh, throwing the ball. Yeah, this was on on Starcade. It was one of the the five games they could pick. Uh, it, it turned out to be a bad game to pick because this is a, a really low scoring game. <laughs> but Starcade games are not very well balanced. Also, I don't know if the uh, the colors are right in Mame. I guess they are, but like, well, you'll you'll see what I mean. But all those all those mockups and screenshots you just saw of what the game is supposed to look like uh, does not look like that. But this is a, a U.S. dump, U.S. version. So uh, I don't know if the, uh, the country code changes anything. No, well, I won't get in trouble for those high score names. Ah, they made the bowling ball the O and the bowling pin the I. That's very clever. So that's that's what the player looks like. He's got uh, uh, he's very cold. He's got blue skin. So five frames per game, two bowls per frame, one bonus frame per strike or three spares. You can earn extra five frames at two hundred and twenty points. So you don't even get the full ten frames guaranteed for one credit. You have to keep getting strikes to play a full game of bowling. Otherwise, the game is over after the fifth frame. So again, this is Data East like implementing implementing these systems to keep a credit from going for too long. Like I don't think a, a full ten frame game of this was going to last like that long. But yeah, you're not you're not allowed to play the rest of the game unless you keep getting strikes. And I don't know if that's going to happen because <laughs> uh, when I was testing this game, I could not get a strike for the life of me. But we'll see how it goes. Cling. Beep. Okay. Oh, God. The game's already beeping at me. Oh, come on, come on. Oh. They give you barely any time to, like, set your power. I got a spare. Whoa! Light show. Yeah, if you don't set your power within the first two seconds, like, the game starts beeping at you. Mmm. I think I'm gonna shoot my bowler. Okay, let's try to... Oh, God. I'm gonna try to... Let's try to curve the ball. Or hook it. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, but you gotta... Ah, ow, duh, duh, what are, what are all these noises? Oh, I got a spare. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, a whole 50 points for a spare. Oh, 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 yeah, let's go. Alright, we in there, baby. That's the first strike of Oh, I missed. No, that's bad. Uh, I think I'm... I think I'm fucked here. That's good. Alright, so I gotta get another strike. Uh-oh. Shit. Hey, I got a spare. I guess this is the last frame. Unless I can get a strike here, right? Or not? Nope. <laughs> I didn't even beat the fifth place score. 
Yeah, how long was that credit? That was like a... That was like maybe three minutes. Dude, like, you... <laughs> you don't get to play a full game of bowling. Man, Data East. Okay, let's let's try again. So it seems like the key is like, yeah, you gotta you gotta hook it at just a ah, just a right angle. I missed. So you have to keep getting strikes to stay alive. And I guess if you if you play a full game, uh, you have to get like a 220 to get like more frames. So you could theoretically keep playing if you can somehow get strikes every time. But uh, it's fucking hard, dude. <laughs> it's fucking hard. Uh. Jesus. When, when the when the meter turns red, like it's it's telling you to like hurry up, but like I gotta spend a little time to like get in a position and set it, so like Man, calm the fuck down, game. And yeah, where are the bowling honeys? Why why am I playing as this this frostbitten dude? Oh shit, I got to the seventh frame. Let's go, baby. Come on. Yeah! Let's get that turkey. Fuck! Uh. Alright. This is the best I've ever done in this, by the way. <laughs> No, oh, man. Alright. <coughs> oh. Oh, wait, I did get another frame. Mm. Three spares gives you another frame, too. Damn it. Hey, 151. That's not bad, considering I didn't even get to play the 10th frame. Whoa, that, that bowling ball is about to explode. Oops. That's not a 1cc, I didn't play the 10th frame. Rub end. I like that they kept rub end for, like, so many Data East games. Spa rub end. Sheesh. So the high score on this on Marp, 25,190. So presumably, like, yeah, somebody's actually finished all 10 frames, got into a second game. Oh, that's Paul of Almir. He was, uh, he had some sus recordings. Second place was 19,380 by Phil Lamott, so he was, he's legit. 19,000 has to, like, at least finish all 10 frames, right? This was another game where I was unable to beat the default high score, by the way. <laughs> 11,000 seems pretty... Um... Pretty high. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, this is... Yeah, it's not good. Bowling games would get better. Mainly because a lot of a lot of bowling games uh, don't have any, uh, you know, they're just like, yeah, you can have ten frames. You're not going to get to play anymore after that, but we'll make it feel like you got your money's worth. Is this a game where you can credit feed the high score? There's no continue feature. There are no continues in any of these uh, these data esports games. When you run out of lives, that's it. <laughs> There are no continues.
Three spares for a bonus frame, okay. So you could... Well, yeah, you get five strikes, you get the full game. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this. Uh, what is what is so pro about Pro Bowling? Oops, I, I had the window minimized. I think the, the screen was frozen for a second. Don't worry about it. Anyway, on a scale of 1 to 5, how likely would you be to want to play a credit of Pro Bowling? This was a cassette game, yes. Decocass. Yeah, these games in general, like, <laughs> these these daily sports games do not want you to play them. <laughs> it's really, uh, yeah. They hate you and everything you stand for. Oh, geez, there's a lot of art to catch up on after this. Anyway. Uh, 65% gave it a 1. Some people gave it a 2. A few people gave it a 3. Mmm. It's the better of the day, sports games. I don't know, it, it's... Yeah, it, it, it's constantly rushing you. And it felt like very... It just felt like very difficult. It feels like the pins are like really fucking separated. So it just feels like really difficult to hit the pins with a with a proper curve. But yeah, they're, they're, they're fucking rushing you to, to throw the ball as quick as possible in a game that's given you five frames by default. Like... Yeah, fuck you, Dace. I'm giving you a one. <laughs> Don't rush me. But yeah, the, yeah, the physics seem kind of off. It's I don't know. It's the whole the whole get strikes for extra frames thing could like maybe work, but uh, nah, bad execution. One bongo it is. Uh, it's also worth mentioning before I. Uh, uh, before I go back to uh, uh, before I go back to catching up on art, um, Dadies would end up releasing a uh, uh, something in 1983, which we're not going to count as uh, as an actual game. Uh, it runs on Liberate hardware. Pro sports, bowling, tennis, and golf. It's literally just a, a compilation of the bowling game, the first tennis game, and the golf game from 1981. They tried to, look at that. You got a golf ball, a bowling ball, and a sports ball. That's a cute title screen. But then it just goes through all the... All the demos in, in order. The golf game was the best one of the three, yeah. Like, okay, the, the golf game was, you know, a little rough if you're... I mean, really rough if you're comparing it to, like, uh, to Neo Turf Masters or something. But for, like, a 1981 game, like, it was actually kind of impressive. Like, I was actually, I was actually pretty surprised by it. But, yeah, I guess this was just an attempt to to resell <laughs> resell old games. Yeah, that was another game where you had lives and you didn't get to complete the course uh, if you didn't play golf well. They shot the poor lady. Whoa, the guy was on the was on the lanes for a second. Did you see that? Also it says high score zero. Does it not have the the default high scores? I'm not gonna play this. I'm just I'm just showing this very briefly because it's a uh, 
an interesting footnote to the whole Data East uh, sports thing. Ah. They each came out in different years, right? Tennis was 1982. This was the game where you can't hit with the backhand. See that? The computer couldn't hit with the backhand there. Oh, <laughs> oh the pro, the tennis games. Whoa. What happened to the, the lady? This is looking a little glitchy. Tournament pro golf. But yeah, the golf game was actually fairly decent. Uh, <laughs> is that correct? Is it? Is this a bad dump? What happened with the the graphics there? No. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine they they ship the game like that. Also, the demo is not very good at this. Hey, I'm walking here. The map graphic looks like Super Cobra. Yeah. But yeah, if you want to, if you want the full lowdown on pro golf, uh, we covered that like somewhere in the 1981 games. I don't remember which episode it was, but it's there on YouTube. You can find it. <laughs> that rotation is killing me. <laughs> Bogey. All right. Well, let me uh, give me a second to catch up on our. There's a lot here. <laughs> now that wasn't a tape game. That was. They were originally tape games, but that one was uh, was running on uh, Liberation hardware. So it actually it actually loads up like really fast. They just it it's similar hardware I guess, but doesn't use the the cassette player. All right. <laughs> I think I got everything here. We got like six pieces of art. That's a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. Deco MVS would be sick until you realize, like, most of the games are garbage. <laughs> ah, if only. Ah, Jerry Harris, thank you for the, uh, <laughs> the pro soccer art. That ref is packing heat. The referee's about to, about to shoot the soccer players for not, uh, for not scoring goals. That's what happens in in Data Eastland. Thank you for that. Uh, we got more skater art. <laughs> I hate saying that. Thank you, Clip It. <laughs> oh, there's the uh, there's the dog harmonica or not harmonica dog xylophone whatever. And Flicky. Red Flicky. Player 2 Flicky. Dog Accordion. Thank you. I'm totally, I'm totally blanking on musical instruments. This ancient guy doesn't know his, uh, his instruments. Uh, thank you, Guntex. It's like a combination of... Uh, skater and Rootin' Tootin'. Love to root and toot. Thank you, gun tanks. Uh, thank you, big bear. Clowns high stepping. Damn clown. Thank you, Big Bear. And a couple a couple more soccer pieces. Uh, 
Actually, this one can work for any of these data sports games. <laughs> Thank you, Clip It. I like the idea of everybody getting shot if they don't if they don't fucking perform in their sports games. These games are violent. And of course, and of course, thank you, Chubo. This would have made the soccer game way better. Just kick everybody in the dick. <laughs> Now that should have been the flyer art. Yeah, with the cleats too. Ouch. <laughs> Get him in the tank. In the tank. Alright. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna... Okay, so I think this is a good time to... Good time to take a quick break. I'm gonna use the, uh, the restroom real quick. Uh, should I leave the art on screen or go to the go to the break screen? Yeah, I don't know how people crank these out so fast. <laughs> crank. Y'all are too good. All right. Uh, let's. All right, yeah, I'm gonna step out for just a second. I'll be right back. Put up the break screen, there we go.
got nothing to do just sitting around the house thinking about you. Got to get outside. I got to get on the move. Grab the keys, hit the road. See you Sunday till we hit the schoolyard. Heading for the black top. Taking on the trunk with a $5 flat top. Playing all night. You know we never lose it. Because when push comes to shove, you know we got to do it. Damn, BBH has read an ad during the break again. What a fucking sellout. You want shoes? We got shoes. Hey, look what I found. Oh, my knee. Shoes! Glad for the radio show. This is Tall Builder. He stole their gold. They want payback. Did you try to crack my safe? I don't do dogs. I had a bad experience. What happened? I had a bad experience. The Italian job. What happened to my gold? Way to PG-13. The previous Saturday. Gold is sweet. Money is cheap. Put them make them fun to eat. That's why we all love our honey gold. See that safe? Here is what. We don't get gold much, much, much. We all love that safe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot about the metal in my lungs. Yeah, I'll have to put that back in the rotation. You gotta have the honeycomb commercial for the yeah jump scare at the end. <laughs> oh, Rika's here. Hi, Rika. Yep, come back here. Hey, baby. Rika. Hey, hey. Uh, oh yeah, and, and Colin Pete. And then I have to re-explain re the lore behind that one. Ah, come. The cat's teasing me. All right. <laughs> uh, she keeps uh, she keeps acting like she wants to get pets, and then she runs away. She's very, very soon there. Anyway, um. We're still not done with Data East games, by the way. <laughs> we still got a we still got a couple more. But the next game is not on on cassette hardware, so maybe it'll be a little a little less crap, maybe. Uh, I remember playing this in roulette, and it was uh, it was actually kind of all right. A game called uh, called. Boomeranger. Boomeranger. Rangor. All right, Boomer. Uh, Bowling got a one. Oh yeah, there's some caveman feet and ass. The world's first boomerang adventure game. Uh, let's uh, let's read the lore here. You're Boomer. A prehistoric warrior living in a dangerous land in a time when dinosaurs ruled the world. Armed with your deadly boomerang, your goal is to explore the land in quest of treasures, but beware of gigantic, vicious monsters, sea serpents, and enemy tribesmen who attack on foot or hurl fireballs while riding dinosaurs. The ultimate challenge is to knock the enemy warrior off his dinosaur and take his place atop the beast. This will give you maximum mobility and firepower. By capturing all the treasures and spelling out boomeranger... You are victorious and move to a challenging new world full of new adventures and dangers. Superb graphics, fast-moving action, and an entirely novel, entirely novel game theme. Okay, come on, Dadies. Uh, reel it back a little bit. Press red button to hurl boomerangs. Blue button to mount riderless dinosaurs for increased firepower. Bonus points for for treasures. Um, yeah, also known as as Genesis. Not the uh, not the Gottlieb pinball table. Unfortunately, oh wait, there is a. Oh god, there is a flyer for that. Oh shit. Oh yeah, we gotta look at that then. Oh good lord. Okay. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I got it, Cuba. Don't worry. Um, no, got his his nipples out. He's winking too. I I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, survival in the wilderness. Whirly is our bi biblical man. She can is. Wait, Whirly is our biblical man. All right, seeking a share of treasure in a ho in a hostile land. He charges around on a dinosaur and hurdles his boomerang. Be it beast or bird or savage tribesman. Why did they capitalize tribesman? Whirly skill with a boomerang can defeat the lot. For he's out to get a share of treasure and can't be stopped. Um, what's he doing behind that mountain? I, I don't want to know. I don't like Whirly. <laughs> I'm not a fan. But this game, this game seemed all right. I think I, I think I ended up enjoying this a bit when it came up in, uh, in roulette many years ago. I don't know how many years ago it was. I want to say this game came up like pretty late in the run. But maybe I'm, maybe I'm forgetting. I don't know. So you gotta sp uh, pick up all the letters that spell boomeranger. The G is attached to the, or the the apostrophe is attached to the G. Oh, it's like Wheel of Fortune, I see. Oh, damn, they're getting skeletonized. Okay, I'm not actually playing yet. This is a demo. <laughs> That death animation on the dinosaurs is awful. Some very detailed death animations in this game for some reason. Yeah, demos actually like surviving for a while. Sometimes you see demos where they just they die and like oh there it goes. I fell down. Yeah, this is before Commando. Capcom didn't even exist yet. You're Boomer, a prehistoric man living in a... Sorry. Living in a dangerous land in a time when dinosaurs ruled the world. Your goal is to explore the land and quest treasures by capturing any tre treasures and spelling out Boomeranger. You're victorious. Wait, they're just copying the stuff from the flyer. Okay. Oh, that's love. Game's audio's all over the place. Okay. So you have you have one button that throws a boomerang, another button that rides dinosaurs. Oh, you move <laughs> feels like you move way faster vertically than horizontally for Oh no, I don't want to kill that guy. Oh, now I feel bad. Uh could I have wooden that one? Oh, Shamu! I'm sorry. Brrr. Enemy killed times twelve plus two thousand. Letters err. Then they make you start over. That's kind of weird. They make you start back from the beginning each time you get the get the letters. Yeah, this is like an actual game. <laughs> Now we're... Oh, no. No. Okay, whatever. Uh, no. The problem is the boomerang comes back and kills the dinosaur before I can ride it. Such is the nature of a boomerang, huh? Oh. I got killed by Shamu. Uh... I don't know if there's a puppy up enemy. All right, I'm not. Man, everything's up there. Okay, I don't think I'm getting the one loop clear, but it does say this is pattern three. Oh wait, what? I hit the button to get on the dinosaur, but I died. Wait, 
Okay, wait, why is the def the default high score was 18,000, but it says the high score is 77,700. Yeah, I tried to get on the dinosaur, and it teleported me over and ran me into the dude who just killed me. Yeah, this was the this was the start of Dadis love affair with with cavemen, huh? Joe and Mac Origins. Damn it! How do I kill a dude without killing the dinosaur? Okay, I can't ride that one. I'm gonna reset. <laughs> of course that's an enemy. You can't ride him, he's too spiky, yeah. Yeah, now I don't remember if I got that 77,000 during roulette. Okay, the thing that feels weird about this is that, like... Oops. Oh, it burned him alive. Um, You move, like, way faster, like, up and down when the screen isn't scrolling than you do, like, moving left and right. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit. And I, you don't have to pick up the letters in, like, any order, I don't, or a specific order, I, I think, because uh, the letters go all over the place, right? Here. Uh, actually, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> oh god. Volcanoes. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going this way. There's gotta be something up here, right? Ah! Oh, what? That didn't touch me. Sometimes don't get much time to like react to these enemies. Oh, I died because the enemy ran into the dinosaur. Damn quad kill! Shit. Whoop. I don't care Windows Defender. Fuck off. All right, I got the A. Keep it the, on the left side. I just don't get why they make you start back on the raft at the beginning of, of each pattern. Oh. Yeah, this game's open world, kind of. It is kind of ambitious, right? Did this game inspire Zelda? Okay. I'm trying to read the map. I bet you can't, like, look at the map while you're playing, huh? Oh, I can't get through that. Oh, fuck. And of course, the problem with having a boomerang for a weapon is that you can only throw one at a time. Okay, I think I need to go the other way, right? Get on! Oh my god! What the hell are these? So I didn't spawn more enemies until I killed those last ones. I got it. What the hell? Uh, oh my god. I gotta play this on stick. Uh, you're being chased! Yes! I couldn't turn around or else I would have died. Oh, you get another extra life. Nice. Alright, so everything... Boom. I gotta spell boon. All the way to the top. Get 
on the frickin' da. Are these enemies? I noticed that like more if they're like there's one of a certain enemy type. <laughs> oh no, chickens! Um, more won't spawn as long as you leave like one one alive on screen. That might be a strat. Ooh, cool skull! Skeletons in video games. Okay, B and E. That's a big ass skull, Beavis. I mean, butthead. Okay. Ah! Okay. These volcanoes are cheap as fuck! Damn it. Hmm. Hmm, this isn't looking so good. Chase. Okay. Is there oh no, Shamu! <laughs> Fuck! I'm being chased by so many tribesmen and then Shamu has to kill me. Oh, TTT is the top score. You just can't fucking read what number. You can't read anything on this fucking high score screen. So that is the def that is a high default score. Okay. All right, then I don't remember how I did on this in roulette. I'm gonna have one more attempt because this game's actually pretty legit. <laughs> Try this on stick. I've been lazy playing everything on the pad. I need some better control on this. So I gotta, I gotta kill them with a return hit to, like, not lose the, uh... Fuck. Pattern's just... PTN is just a name for the stage number. Data East like calling stages patterns. Pattern, round, stage, level, episode, act, sortie, parsec, etc., etc. Damn it! <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing worse and worse. I'm in the boomer ranger vortex. Yeah, rack. Skip a rack. Okay, so as long as you keep like one enemy type on screen, nobody else can spawn. I think I said that earlier, but uh that seems important. It took it took so long for anybody in the YouTube comments to like notice anything about how I was I was naming like each uh, each episode of Push to Reject like level one, round two, stage three or whatever. It was a different thing every time. Okay. Uh, run! 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 Damn, everybody's out to get my ass. You never noticed? Well, there you go. Hey, Selfie, happy birthday. Alright, have a, have a good night, Left Empty. Thanks for stopping by. I still had a couple... Uh, at least a couple that I hadn't used for those those episode numbers yet. I think. Uh, did I? Oh, no, I didn't get this one. Ah! What the hell was that? Ah! Jesus, that was fast! <laughs> I got spawn killed! I was gonna say, how long can I do this for? Ah, what the 
hell is that? Yeah, there's there's a lot of enemy types, but uh, the fact that enemies just like they spawn in like really really close. No, the problem is you have to be like really high up on the screen when you're going left, or not really high up, but really close to the edge of the screen when you're going left and right to like scroll it. It feels like so you have like less time to react to stuff. I think that's kind of a problem. But I kind of get the strat here. Like, you leave this enemy on screen. Nobody else can spawn, but, like, the volcanoes can explode. So maybe that's the strat. You just kind of, like, leave this guy alive as long as you can. Let him chase me. Ah, shit! Never mind! Never mind! Damn! They leveled up. I thought I was on to something. <laughs> Uh, I don't have to go down. I think I have to go down. Ah, no! No, it wasn't this way. Shit! No! No, no, the map. There's something down here I missed. Right? Yeah, I guess I changed zones, I guess. Also, you get an extra life at... Wait, 20,000 every 40,000 after? That doesn't make sense. I just got one at 40. Oh, now the game's, like, ranking up. That didn't even touch me. something up here. Ooh. Oh, the dinosaur's popping off, too. Whoa, it got all glitchy there. Oh, man, I'm... B and A. Oh, but you don't, you don't keep the dinosaur if you get the letter. Oh, that sucks. Don't want it to be too easy, I guess. No, oh, no, no, Shamu, you fucker. Like that. Something up. Whoa! What? 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 Oh my god. Like I said, when you're like too close to the edge of the screen, like enemies just spawn kill you. Man! Ah, I shouldn't say this is bad. I want to do a loop of this, but mm, I think we need to move on. And yeah, this game has lore masters. Japanese player and Mark got a million points. I mean, if it if it's giving extra lives like every forty thousand, then. Yeah, I can see how it'd be marathonable. I wanted to see what stage two looks like, if it's like a new map. It's hard to... It's hard to reach, though. But... This game certainly has issues, but... Uh, compared to, like, <laughs> some of the stuff we've seen tonight... It does feel like a masterpiece. <laughs> a little bit. But yeah, I don't know. Learn the learn the map a little better. Maybe it becomes uh, more doable. I felt like I was getting a little better. 
Not bad, not bad. It's just... Yeah, I just really don't like the... Uh, like 20 enemies just spawning in at, at once. <laughs> That's kind of rough. But hey, it's... Uh... You know, I have a feeling I said something like that. Um... When it came up in roulette, like, I'd like to spend more time with this, and then I never went back to it. That sounds like something I would say. But I said a lot of things in main roulette that I have no no recollection of, so. Because, dude, I'm ancient. Anyway. Uh, 76%. Gave us a 4. We finally hit a 4 bongo game for tonight. Damn, how about that? Yeah. I uh I think I agree. You know me, I like uh I like overhead running guns usually. I tend to be a fan of the genre. And uh yeah, for for 83, this is uh it looks pretty good. It's obviously got uh it's got some issues. But, uh, yeah. Good job, Dadies. Good job. You, you might finally be turning things around. <laughs> Who knows what other games you'll be making in the near future. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, what if I told you there was one more game that re that, that runs on Data East cassette hardware? <laughs> At least one more. But here's the catch. Uh, this game wasn't entirely made by Data East. Uh, from what I read, this was a, uh, a joint venture between, uh, between Data East and uh, another company. Another company you may have heard of. We don't even have a flyer for this. This game does not have much in the way of uh, in the way of art for this, so I'll have to uh, just use the title screen. Uh, why is it so fat? This is supposed to be a vertical monitor game. Whatever. Uh, this game's called Zero Eyes, and it was uh, I think uh, the company that mostly did the development on this was Technos, makers of uh, of Double Dragon, Super Dodgeball, and the like. Um, they, uh, I want to say they programmed this and then Data East just, uh, just licensed it. And, uh, they did the development on the, on the Data East cassette hardware. If you had one of these machines, would it be easy to record your own cassettes for it like we copy tape games? There's supposed to be, like, a security dongle on it, so to prevent people from, like, copying the games too easily. Or so they say. But considering how hard it is to find these uh, to find these games, yeah, I guess they uh, were not easily copable, copyable. Anyway, zero eyes. That's uh, oh, that started at one forty-two, not one twenty. Ah, uh, this is gonna take a while. Ah. Tana gets cursed when it's loaded up. That can't be right. Oh, maybe I should put Techno slash Data East in the, in the developer. Because this this game is mentioned on the uh, uh, on the Arc System Works website because Arc System Works owns all the all the Technos IPs now. So Technos did have a hand in it. <laughs> yeah, this, this looks fine. Now we're good. We're good. 
Zoom, zoom. Ezio. Ezio Riz. Oh, well, blew up. Your car, Arupa. Enemies, Rupa. Astral, physical. You can't have an enemy named Rupa when you're Arupa. So, the objective of this game is to uh, ram enemies into walls. And avoid, uh, avoid getting rammed yourself. Bonus bit. What the hell is... Mars! Mars is too tough. Meteor will blow you up. No, no bonus car! Wait. Oh, wow, yeah. No bonus car! Also, you die if you run into the wall and you're on. Okay. Yeah, just tell the player your arcade operator's an asshole. Alright. Yeah, I didn't touch the settings. Oh god, you don't, you don't stop. You automatically keep moving. Uh, take that. Uh. Whoa, whoa! What happened there? Why did it teleport? Also, I like how the lives is remainder. Ooh, combo, let's go. Oh, you do get bonus points. Whoa, whoa. I guess they can s whoa, whoa, they can speed up. Wait, what wait, what what does button two do? Button two slows you down? Oh unless you like stay in place. Bonus bit. Oh yeah, you better run, bitch. Try! Next round. Yeah, they can already speed up, and it's only round one. Yeah, I guess this isn't a Data East game. They're called rounds and not... not pa what the fuck was that? <laughs> There's no button three, is there? Alright, so you just gotta make sure enemies aren't locked on with you. At, ever. Oh no, oh no! Recover, recover! Okay. Ah, ah, ah! No, no, no! Oh, okay, you can... You can kill Mars by knocking in something else into it. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 Game over. A lot of people bringing up motos all at once. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is tough. What was that round two? I didn't get past round two. Remainder zero. Oh, Jesus, they go they go faster than you when they when they speed up. That's cheating. I'm getting some real Smash TV vibes from this personally. Ah. Getting some real Metal Slug vibes from this. Did you know that Dynagear is a Metal Slug clone? I don't know, I just wish, like, you could you could move faster. Like, the enemies are so much faster than you when they decide to speed up. Like that. Also, I don't know if you can, like, recover. Like, you can kind of recover? I'll try next round. So I guess for score, you want to be, like, knocking the enemies into each other, huh? Although it seems tough. Oop! <laughs> Can I just do this? Yep! It'd be nice if they told you how many enemies are left in the current round, you know? Oh, combo! Let's go! I fell down. Kind of a funky jam. Uh oh. 
I assume I'm supposed to mash to get out of that. Uh oh, this guy's invincible. Man! <laughs> Damn! Stone Cold Killers. <laughs> Thank you, clip it. Thank you. It's about time somebody got the word out about Street Fighter. What a hidden gem. <sighs> Would this even be... No, I, I haven't even, like, hit the 50,000. That's the lowest possible bonus life, and I haven't even gotten halfway there. All the default scores are 50,000. This is tough. Oh, I thought that would... Okay. I thought I'd get a triple kill there. That would have been satisfying. That guy went right over the hole! Cheater! Cheater! Ah, I don't know how to counter mash out. It's really hard to set up combos in this game. The enemies keep moving, you know? Try. I really want to hit a triple. No, no, no. Oh my god, he comboed me. I'm not making it past round two, I guess. <laughs> Man, the enemies just go right over the hole. It's not fair. Oh, come on, come on. Man, there's something to this, but it needed a little more time in the oven. It's fucking impossible. High score for this on Marp. Oops. Uh, somebody got 139,000. Ace 13. Second place is 98,800. Third place is 44,800, so that didn't even beat the the default high score. I haven't even gotten a meteor. No bonus car. Yeah, I don't know. I... I'm, it's a good concept. But just very... <laughs> good demo! <laughs> the demo just gave up and ran into the wall. Excellent. We are talking about how the Boomeranger demo was, like, surprisingly competent. This one just fucking gave up. You love Slash. Hate to see it. Anyway. <sighs> I, I want to like this, but... I played three credits and none of them made it past round two. So... I don't know, man. I didn't feel, uh... I didn't feel very fulfilled with those credits. Another developer did a very similar thing later on. Oh, gee, what game was that? <laughs> uh, man. Yeah. So close. Like, if you could get those... Get more of those combos going. That'd be cool, too. Wait, what? 51% gave us a 3? Nobody gave it a 1? <laughs> Chad gave it a three. Mm. Like for me, this is like this is like straddling the edge between a one and a two. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I'll give it a two then. <laughs> uh, I thought it was I thought I was gonna see like a bunch of ones and twos, but you can't type funky town? Yeah you can. I don't think I filtered that. <laughs> Damn, get peer pressure, pussy. Zero eyes, it got a... I, I think it's... I think it's closer to a, a one than a three, but... Uh, maybe maybe it was for the, the concept. I don't know. Uh, good luck to anybody trying to beat the default high score. <laughs> There's some a couple more pieces of art. <laughs> I think of the green heron for that that awful <laughs> that awful winking whirly from the uh, from the Genesis flyer. Yeah, screen isn't showing. We're done with the game. Is he Whirly or is he Boomer? It depends on which version you played. And thank you, Chubo. Damn, we got some titties. <laughs> Watch me scare Fred out of his balls. Can you show those titties on, on Twitch? Yeah, he's got a boomerang nose. Ancient ancestor of the, uh... It's a, the shameful yank caveman, I guess. Thank you, Chubo. <laughs> Thank you, Green Heron. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, well. Uh... I may need some help on the next game. I think I think Chubo knows how to play this one. Um, I tried this, but I wasn't very good. Uh, we got s yeah. We're moving on to Technos. So Technos released a few games in the uh, in the year of 1983, including what I think was the. Uh, the first arcade wrestling game. Tag Team Wrestling. Also known as The Big Pro Wrestling. Data East handled the uh, the distribution in some regions, I guess. But this is a... Uh, uh, this is a Technos game through and through. Technos, of course, would... Uh, would go on to make a couple more arcade wrestling games. WWF Superstars, WWF WrestleFest. They got the WWF license, and uh, uh, those games were very popular, so they're probably not going to be seen on this stream, unfortunately. Yeah, this did get a, an, uh, an NES port, which had the uh, the Strong Bads in it. But uh, uh feels like some people might not have seen the arcade version, so... Oh yeah, and Matt Mania. Uh, X aka Exciting Hour. Which uses the same uh, announcer voice. Or not announcer, same referee voice. I don't know if that's obscure enough to count for this for this uh, series. Mm, I don't know if Ring King's going to be covered, because all anybody's going to talk about is the NES version.
Today's main event sold out. Data East Tag Team Wrestling. No, this has nothing to do with the uh, Nintendo's Pro Wrestling. I know team. Hog team and team. Bong. Give him the nutter. One hole. I'm not even playing yet. Yeah, this game has a lot of good noises. So, I watched, like, a recording of this just to figure out how the fuck you're supposed to play this. Um... <laughs> Let's see if I picked anything up. Please write your team name. Uh... Oh. There we go. A's and tag and team were different? Oh, God. The vests go into the air and they never come down. Okay. So I think the strat is you kind of grapple until you see, like, the... Oh, no! That didn't work. Whoa. That didn't work. Uh, tag out. Come on! Come on. Oh, he's pissed! Oh, God. Give him the nutter! Oh. Okay. Oh! I don't know what's going on. I got no power! Oh no! Forearm smash! Uh oh. Uh oh. Get up! Get up! Get up! Damn it! Okay, I don't know how to win grapples. Fuck! Damn it! Man, I'm getting bodied. Also, he's way faster than me. You have to repeatedly bump into them until the game decides you win. Oh, well, I keep losing. Oh god, my guy's damaged. Hoorah. Yeah, he keeps getting mad and throws me out of the ring. This is just stage one. Oh, here we go. Body slam! No, I took too long! Fuck! <laughs> Man! Shit! Forearm smash. Oh! Get up, get up, get up. Hoorah. There we go. Body slam. There we go. I did a move. Wait, I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh, he tagged out. No. Come on. Come on. Fuck. Okay, I was trying, but if they turn red, they, they automatically win the grapple, I think. Uh-oh. I'm up. Wait, no! He okay. I'm almost dead. There's no timer on this, huh? Why does he turn red? I can't win! When do I get to do that? Man, it's stage one. Can't the game just ease into it a little more? <laughs> game is trying to kill me from... Ah, oh, from the get-go. Oh, God. Oh, God. He doesn't care. Oh, my God. Oh, I got in. I got in. Okay. Hoorah. 
Rabbit killer! Uh. Oh. Why is he so fast? What the fuck? Yeah, his credit- even though I'm losing, like, the- the credit, yeah, it's lasting longer than all those sports games. Okay. No! What the fuck? Every fucking time. You're a beginner, but you're having fun. Uh-oh. No! I'm dead. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! I think we both lost. <laughs> you know what? I'll take that. If I'm gonna lose, I'm taking you down with me. Try again. They both died. Rank 49. That's not good. Um, uh, I wish this game eased into it a little more, you know? <laughs> it's fucking stage one and they're, they're just, they're just winning everything. It's actually a Technos game, not Data East. Data East just distributed it. Pile driver! There we go. Whoa. Rabbit killer. Oh, no. Okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I can't stop him. W Lariat. <coughs> Come on. No. Shoulders are up. Whoa, what? I didn't push anything. Oh shit, I won a stage. Nice. I did it. Winner is BBH team. <coughs> nice. The first time I've cleared a stage of this, I think. When he turns red, you automatically lose the grapple, but I don't know how to do anything about that. Oh, he reversed it? Shit. Fuck. Oh. No! Man, this guy's got the timeout stress. What a reversal! Can he follow up? Shit! Man! Natural might know every counter to every move. Man... Dregs wins. Yeah, Spike did all the work there. I was able to, like, win a few grapples, but then... Yeah. Yeah, the, the bonus total tally-up noise was good. W Lariat. Brain Buster! Wait, I, I didn't want to pin. Oh. Pile driver. Oh, okay. 
Man! Okay. Oh no! Four arm smash! Get through! I can't get through! Okay. Oh, he's gonna tag out too. Fuck. Coming for that ass! No! That's a brain buster? It looks like a suplex. Alright. Oh, I did the rear drop. I thought I did brain buster. Wait, 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 wait. Well, it's a good thing the uh, the teammate doesn't like try to break up pins, right? That was like right there. <laughs> oh, he's too heavy! Shit! Come on! Come on! All right, I can drop with him. I'm not going out there. Fuck that. I'm not going out there. He's gonna slam me into the the side over and over. Uh oh. He's hulking up. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> he's just gonna sit there and wait. There's nothing I can do about that, I guess. I guess that's the game's way of punishing you for not like um uh, going after him. They do that every time I go to the outside. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? No! You asshole! Why did Ric Flair just interfere? Come on. That's why you don't go outside the ring in this game. What the fuck? Was this a no DQ match tonight? <laughs> if it wasn't, I should have the win for that. We're out of time. See you on Thunder. What the fuck? <laughs> Man. Well, this game gets a lot of points for, like, its presentation. Um... I don't know. <laughs> but it's still like, uh... I don't really understand what's going on a lot of the time. <laughs> Everybody just runs it, or... If I go outside the ring, like, I just get caught in combos over and over and I can't do anything. I keep trying to, like... I keep trying to, like, back off to, before I can win grapples, but, um... But then the, uh, the CPU turns red, and they just automatically win, so... Uh... So what the fuck do you do about that? <laughs> uh, well... I'll give it points for trying, but... And like I said, this... This might be the first arcade wrestling game, the first wrestling game attempted on attempted in an arcade format, so it's just uh obviously a little rough around the edges. Limited a bit by uh by hardware. When was a poo? I think that was 84. I should have that on my list somewhere. I don't have it written down. I'm gonna have to double check. <laughs> I can't believe the there's a there's a fucking running feature just to fuck you over. <laughs> Man, the computer's always uh, always fucking throwing me into the the side over and over, and now you gotta bring in somebody else just to fuck me up. Sheesh. Very charming, but not much else. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I forgot to take the uh, forgot to take the voting out. 
But either way, Chad did give this a three also. Couple people gave it a one. Three people gave it a five. Ah. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Like, like gameplay wise, it's it's very it's very rough. But I feel like if you did. If you did play it, like, it would, you would actually, you'd remember it. Like, it would stick out in your head. Like, if, if you played this, like, very, very early on, like, it, it leaves a very, a very distinct impression on you. So I guess, like, maybe that's worth something. Is it enough for a three, though? <laughs> uh, what's the high score on Mark? Uh, the high score in MARP is 1,350,650. So, yeah, people have learned how to play it. <laughs> so it is possible. It's not, uh... It's not totally rigged. People can, uh... People can play this for a while. Alright, well... I think the presentation... Definitely carries it a little. I'll give it a three. Like that's that's kind of worth something. It would be a, it it'd be an arcade experience you'd remember. But it's it, it it's very borderline between two and three. Not very intuitive. I mean, but the thing is, like, nobody really knew what to expect from wrestling games at the time, so. Considering this would be uh, one of the first ones, but. I do imagine a lot of people would, would just get uh, blown up. <laughs> but. Eh. Alright. You won me over a little bit. But I was I was definitely leaning more towards two. Damn it! Why does why does BBH keep getting peer pressured? What the fuck? All right. So now for now for Technos games nobody talks about, except uh, except Clip at ninety seven. Um. <laughs> There was a flyer for this one, at least. Uh, is this it? Yeah, there it is. Uh, I got this game called Scrambled Egg. Japanese version is called, uh, called Scrambled Egg. Uh, apparently got a US version that's just called Eggs. We'll just refer to this as Scrambled Egg. <laughs> yeah, the egg's a ninja for some reason. Um, I don't know if this... I don't think we need the Data East name on there. We'll just put Technos, because this... I believe is just Technos through and through. Um... Yeah, so the object of this game... There's eggs all over the place that you gotta hatch, and you hatch the eggs by kicking eggs into other eggs until they, uh... until they get cracked and eventually hatch. And if you you can hit eggs into enemies to kill them, and uh, this gameplay style would later be used by by another game from Technos we'll be looking at uh, later, not tonight but later, as in like eighty four, eighty five, <laughs> whenever Mysterious Stones came out. Kickle cubicle ish, kinda, kinda. Anyway. Scrambled egg into the trash. We will look at the uh the eggs version too. Data East Scrag.cpp. Hmm. 
Boss Hero. Hero side, Egg, Chicken, Hen. Enemy, Sukiyaki Brothers. And the, tu the horrifying Tuna Head. Well, 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 if it isn't the Sukiyaki Brothers. Also, you can shoot your eyes out. Yeah, yeah, kick him, kick him. <laughs> that guy turns him blue. Hey, we actually have a bonus life in this game. All right. Bloop. Whoa, they just give the credits right when you put a credit in. That's uh unusual. Program. Oh god. Ah, this is loud. Hold on. Ah, bring this down a little bit. Okay. So you gotta hash the eggs this way. That guy's repairing the eggs. Did you do that? Oh no, my buddy. Get out of here. Take that. You can't kill those guys, you can only stun them. Get out of here. No, get out of here. <laughs> also, it just says Technos Japan at the bottom. Without the year. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I got bonus points for that one. Oh, there's the hen. Oh, the hen's helping out. No, oh, tuna head. Oh, he's dead. Vaporized. No, the eggs just bump you back. They don't actually... You can't actually die from it, thank God. <laughs> My eyes got stuck for a second. Hey, hey. Leave my egg alone. No. Oh. Now this is hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm still on level one. That's the problem. It takes a while to, like, clear stages in this game. Okay, I don't know what happens when the... the birds turn blue. Gonna finish one level. Okay. They're just worth less. Yeah, Technos did did revisit this uh, style of gameplay for Mysterious Stones, but that that comes later. Damn, pathfinding. That enemy looks like a butt crack. Oh. Two heads on the run. Ah. Dun, 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 dun. Nice, get his ass! He's pissed. Whoa! Oh! Rip. I didn't beat the default score. Spa rub end. This music sounds familiar. Yeah, let's look at the other version. There's another version just called Eggs.
license to Universal. <laughs> Universal saw this and was like, yeah. So this game looks a lot different. Charlie, Chomper, Pesky Bugs, Red Chick, and... I don't know, I guess, I guess Charlie's a more appealing character. <laughs> the chicks are not having a good day if they, uh, if they get hit by the enemy. Chomper is just a... Oh, he was wall hacking, too. One of the Mr. Do enemies. Oh, no, no staff roll when you put in a credit. Technos has been erased. Okay, so yeah, Chomper is not like control or like going around the perimeter. He's actually chasing you. And you can't kill him. God damn, he won't get off my ass. There we go. <laughs> okay. So you gotta you gotta knock eggs into him, huh? Oh fucker. Got his ass. <laughs> Corpse bird. Yeah. Oh, there's the... There's the angry bird. Get his ass! He's not helping. You get points if you shoot this guy. 1200. And then it turns into a hen. Yeah! I don't know if this version is actually easier. I think I just have a better understanding of what I'm doing now, right? <laughs> I can't tell. Oh god, look at these enemies. Yeah, Chomper's way more aggressive. Hey. Uh, turning my birds into corpses. So I guess you wanna you wanna find the red bird as quick as you can, huh? That's the strat. Although maybe it only appears after a certain number of eggs have been hatched. God, all my birds are turning into corpses. Ah, there he is. Alright. Turn it into a hen. Yeah! Get, get their asses. Alright. Starting to understand what to do.
Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, I might be able to beat the default score at this rate. Hey. Wait. Oh. Ooh, ooh. No! The level was over! No! Wait. Did I? Did I die? How many lives did I have? I still have two in reserve. Wait, hold on. What was... what's the... Yeah, bonus life at 30,000. So I wouldn't have had an extra life. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> ah! Yeah, they, they decided that people in the U.S. need to see gross bugs, I guess. Those stupid Americans like gross things. Okay, I haven't found the, uh... I assume the red... the red bird doesn't show up until you've, like, uncovered enough. extra life when I died, but, like, the extra life isn't supposed to come in until 30,000. I don't know. Oh, come on! I shot it. No, you definitely want to go for the, the red chick, but the problem is, I think you have to, like, uncover a certain number of eggs to, to make it appear. Yeah, this is what video games were all about. Just fucking... Just fucking nonsense you gotta figure out. Get killed. No, no. on the left is going to be hard to get. Unless I do it from the, the top, I guess. Problem is, I'm being chased. <laughs> Come on, get it. Ow. Oh. Yeah, there's there's no timer, so you could just do this forever if you wanted. I guess. a dense level. Yep, that's one of the Mr. Do enemies. That's what they... <laughs> Universal left there. Oh god, this level sucks! Oh, that's rough. 
That egg blocked me in. Hmm. High score on eggs on MARP is 172,780 by Jason V91. But the high score on scrambled egg is 758,000 by Jason V91. So I. I guess scrambled egg is the easier version? Either that or maybe... I don't know, this version seemed easier. <laughs> Eggs seemed easier than scrambled egg, but... Mm, also, I don't know if it like awards extra lives every 30,000 or every 50,000 or whatever. Yeah, Tuna Head didn't go through walls. He just like patrolled the perimeter until he decided to chase you. And then he would actually like follow the follow the rules of where enemies could go. But in this game, the Mr. Do Chomper is uh, uh he's got wall hacks turned on. Red check head. So I don't know, I I kinda like this version better, but I guess scrambled egg is is more um, chaotic. I guess <laughs> his boater hat. He's very bongo colored. I like that. All right. Well, uh, when rating this game, uh, rate the version you like better. I guess. <laughs> They are they are kind of similar, but I don't want to I don't want to rate them like separately. There there are some differences. All right. Yeah, yeah, he could have thrown his hat out. That'd be an effective attack. But they already had the eyeball animation, so uh, they're going to use that, I guess. They already had to spend some effort just to redraw Tuna Head to, to push Mr. Do. Anyway. <laughs> it does kind of look like uh, this game has won people over. Sounds, uh... I mean, it, it is... It's pretty playable. Sixty-eight percent gave it a three. <laughs> Less good sound than the WrestleMan game. Yeah, that's that was a that's a tough uh, act to follow. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. wait, 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 wait. But uh, yeah, eggs is all right. I am kind of curious what uh, what you have to do for like seven hundred thousand points in scrambled egg. Yeah, it, it does take a while to, like, kick the eggs, and then you can't kick another one while the eggs are bouncing off. I think I might have forgotten to mention that. So I guess you want to do what the demo's doing. Like, you know, you kick them and then, you know, move around to lead the enemy somewhere else or, or shoot them or whatever. Yeah, okay, three. Yeah, all right. When I give the official rating, like, it should, yeah, we could just have, uh, that would be like, one, two, three, but three's a little, that's a little too overdone for just the, uh, just having a three. I was gonna add, like, zookeeper sounds to the, uh, uh, official rating time, but, uh, I haven't done that yet. I should probably get on that. Alright, 
let me do some uh let me do some art catch up <laughs> all right gm specter <laughs> Uh, you know what? I appreciate that. What are you, ancient? I already forgot that dude's name. Uh, the... The fun you get for, uh, actually having a webcam streaming on Twitch. Thank you, GM Spectre. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, da, 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 da. nope, I missed one. Hold on. All right, let me do this. Uh, since the last game was tag team wrestling, thank you, Chubo. Of course, Chubo's on the uh, would have something for pro wrestling. Shameful yank, man, you're in for it now. That strong bat's gonna fuck you up. That's what happens in that game. There we go. Thank you, Chubo. I should have the uh, ambiance up. Gotta remember to do that. And of course, thank you, thank you, Clip It for. There's two pieces here. Uh, one for, one for Boomeranger. Of course, we gotta have a Boomeranger, Joe and Mac crossover. It's all part of the, it's all part of the Data East universe. Look it up. Update the Data East uh, wiki. And yeah, you've been you've been waiting for this one. Don't worry, I wasn't gonna let you down. This is all part of the uh, the Mister Do uh, the Mister Do universe. These these are deep cuts. <laughs> I can't believe they would reuse shit from Mr. Do. Universal, how did you have so much so much sway over Technos? You don't get it? The uh the Chomper from Eggs is one of the uh is one of the enemies that chases you in Mr. Do. When the extra letters come out. If the uh the letters have already uh been grabbed. Oh, it's a sim. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is a deep cut. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Clip It. Thank you, Chubo. Thank you, GM Specter. All right, I think we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do one more game for tonight. I might be able to stick to the four-hour limit. How about that? One more game from Technos. Another scrambled egg-like. In fact, I, I, th I think I thought this was like a clone of, of scrambled egg at first, but no, this is a different game. Uh, it's called Dommy. <laughs> uh, you, you can make up your own joke for for that name, but by Dommy they mean uh, they mean Dominoes. There's a uh, there's a domino aspect to this game, not that kind of dummy. There are no dummy mommies here. Um, license to Rollertron. 
Who the fuck is Rollertron? So this is another maze type game. Not, I, I, I guess you can call it a maze game, single screen, where you have to you have to do stuff. Um, uh, I didn't really know much about what's going on in this game. <laughs> We're gonna find out together. Join me on this journey. Data East Scrag dot CPP. Dommy, there he is. That's Pushman. That's a different game. And enemies. Danger. Bonus life at 30,000 points. Within steel walls, first enemy is. This guy. <laughs> so from what I what I've tried to figure out, you hit the dominoes into each other and the value goes up. You have to throw the dominoes to the right side and then you can knock them over. But there's a blue guy on the left side that's coming over to like knock your dominoes over and if he knocks them over I assume you die. I assume it's like it's like Domino Man. So you have to like watch out for that. Um, there's like mystery stuff. Uh, this is kind of complicated. <laughs> yeah, Pushman's a uh, a different game with Psychic Five music for some reason. Damn, he's in domino jail. Within steel walls, first enemy is Technos Japan. Can't tell if the music's too loud. Okay. Alright. You can shoot some enemies, but it only stuns them, like in, uh... Uh, Scramble Egg and... Uh, whatever. Eggs. So once a domino's there, that blue guy comes out. Uh, it's gonna... Can't push it that way. Oh, that does work. Okay. I wasn't sure that would work. Okay. The problem is this feels like very... Very constricted. It's like how much room you have to like move around. Oh, I can't do it there. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dude's gonna knock my shit over. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't go- I can't get over there! These guys are gatekeeping! There we go. Ah! Okay. Oh, he just turned my three into a two- oh my god. I can't shoot that guy. So my problem with this game is that the enemies just tend to, like, hang around in the same area over and over. And I don't know what the barrels do. I'll be up! Yeah, this is this is a way worse version of eggs, unfortunately. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, wow. You erased from existence. I was hoping I could make the barrels explode. It's a red barrel in a video game. It should explode, right? That's how things work. Okay. I'm gonna tip it over. 
Yeah. You did it, Dami. At tea time, next enemy is... Oh, shit, a kangaroo with a spatula. Get the. No, I can't. So I assume for the big score, you gotta you gotta put as many dominoes out there as possible, and then just let it rip. But that always feels really difficult to do <laughs> because of the way the enemies are just fucking hang around in this game. Damn, look at those dominoes go. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna fucking bother. Hey, you can reset the the blue guy if you knock a if you throw a domino. What the fuck? Why couldn't I throw that? So yeah, it's got to be possible to like stack them all up like that if you can keep killing the blue guy. Yeah, why why is everybody out to just keep me from playing dominoes? In woods, next enemy is a wolf. Oh, big points here. They reused the hen from eggs! From scrambled egg! Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh, oh, you can't go through that! Fuck. Alright, fine. 1,000. Whoa. Oh, sweet. I finally got some bonuses. Alright, that was kind of satisfying. What? Alright, we gotta get as many houses as possible then. Oh god, oh god. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fuck it, I'm tipping him. Check out this combo. Two thousand. Three thousand. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking nothing. <laughs> that was good. Crap. No, 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 no. Yeah, if they had more, like, more combo stuff going on, that'd be cool. Within stone walls, next enemy is a snack. Bonus, 2,000. Oh no, it's clown time! No bonus. No bonus for clowns. Where am I? He's already out. Um, I don't think I'm getting that bonus. <sighs> okay, wall hacks. Um, how am I gonna? <laughs> how am I gonna knock those in? Ah! I don't like that level. 
Your rank is number 33. Dude, I played for like 10 minutes. And got to level 4 and it's rank 33? Come on, bro. Man. <laughs> How many games tonight did I not beat the default high score on? I beat the default high score on Cluster Buster. I think I beat the default high score on Rootin' Tootin'. Did I beat it? Skater didn't have any scores. Neither did Pro Soccer. Super Devils Tennis I didn't beat the default high score on. Pro Bowling I did not beat the default high score on. Boomeranger I didn't beat the default high score on. Zero Eyes I didn't beat the default high score on. Tag Team Wrestling I did not beat the default high score on. This game I didn't beat the high score on, and Scrambled Egg I did beat the default high score on, so it's like 50-50 almost. Sheesh. High expectations for uh, for the players of Data East and Technos games. I think that's what, uh, I think that's the lesson we're taking away tonight. <laughs> what is the high score on Mark for Dami? 193,590 by Il Seabass. All right, some people have got broken 100,000. Um, I'm not sure why. <laughs> they decided to play Dami, but you know. Everybody makes weird decisions in their lives. I I'm not going to judge. All right, final final poll of the night. Dami. Give us a rating on a scale of one to five bongos. I could already tell this is uh, <laughs> probably not going to uh, have won people over like uh, like eggs. They went between the two, two dominoes and pushed them at the same time. Hmm. Yeah, maybe there is like more to this. Uh, but I'd rather just play scrambled egg. I don't know. Like I, I get what they're going for with the uh, with the whole domino thing. Mm. Doesn't really describe the rules well. Yeah. It also just feels like really... The levels feel really constricted. Oh, I fucking forgot to take the... <laughs> Ignore that. Um, 56% gave it a 2. It did win some people over. Yeah, I would... I would definitely play Domino Man over this. And Domino Man was a stressful, stressful game. But, mm, yeah. It's, it's like just, oop, wrong button. Just barely playable enough. Um, yeah, it probably would be, would be miserable if you're playing it for score. And you have to play it for score if you want to get an extra life, right? But yeah, I don't think it's... Certainly not on the level of Scrambled Egg. Oh well. Two it is! Make sure to take this down. Yeah, it might, it might feel really satisfying if you get a big combo going, but the... Uh, the amount of work you have to do to like get that all set up right... Mmm... Not sure that's worth it. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right, well. I mean there are there are some people that are good at Dami. They are they are out there. 
People have chosen to play this game for score. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've played some dumb games for score, too. Who am I to judge? Anyway, uh, I think that's going to do it. Unless there was some art I missed that was coming in under the wire. caught up. Aren't you, aren't you the guy that got MARP scores just to spite someone? <laughs> yeah, I probably did that. I've definitely done that. That does sound like something I would do. <laughs> oh, man. Well. That was fun. Uh, we'll be back in a. We'll do another. We'll do another one of these push to reject streams next Monday. 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, haven't decided what the uh, the next set of games is going to be. But I uh, there's still plenty of stuff in the in 1983. Uh, I'll probably be back on. I'll be back on Wednesday. Um, I think. I think I might do the the retro achievements for for Metal Slug X. Like I haven't uh, I haven't tackled that yet, and that's like kind of been on my list of stuff to do. So, if you like Metal Slug X, come by on Wednesday night and uh, watch me get mad at, at failing to one CC it. And then Thursday, uh, Thursday will be some some sort of console game. I played fucking Shinobi Legions last Thursday, and that was a <laughs> that was a that was a thing. Yeah, I saw Joey. What the fuck? <laughs> Why would you do that? I'll say it again. Why would you do that? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna host. Is he still? Is he still still streaming? Yeah. Neo Antoine gives me a bunch of hosts, so I should, I should repay the favor. He's playing some Mushihime Sama right now. Oh no, he's raiding me! Shit! Never mind, I gotta find somebody else. <laughs> Here it comes.